Is it? It's beer o'clock. Yeah! <laughs> it's beer 52 time. They haven't got a bloody yeah. coffee on here again, have they? Uh, That's annoying. Uh, nails, I've got a bit of nails. Get the scissors on the out of the cup and draw behind you. Just in that one there, uh, they are. Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> Just in the third, you've got to get that one there. That one there. That one there. That one there. Yes, there's two places in there. Yeah. That one there. Cheers. I don't know, I've just moved in. Oh, dear. <laughs> ah. You didn't want to get out, I was going to reach over and you could have done it. Right. Ah! Right, let's show up. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got. Right, it's just, uh, this is my box again, because you've got a box coming next week, I reckon, now, don't we? Right. Smoke oh, barbecue, love, love corn is oh, the snack right. of the day. I love that stuff, actually. Unfortunately, it's all mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny little bag, damn. Right. Right, we've got all oh, mainly bottles today. Yeah. We've got two cans. So, yeah. are you any idea what the uh, theme is today? No, I have not received. Right, Ninkasi French out. IPA, India Pale. It could be French. The Alps. The Alps. The, the Alps. Alps. So that's like uh, Switzerland, uh, France. Where else is the uh, Italy? Yeah. Isn't it? I believe. Yeah, it goes through uh, France and Italy. Uh, get your Aperiski on. Uh, with the freshest Alpine beers and breweries. Okay, I'm feeling this is more, no, I don't think we're going to get any dark in this one somehow. This one's called Hell, Supreme Champion Beer. Hell, that's blue. <laughs> right. France, Switzerland, Austria, Slovenia, and Italy. Oh, well, I, knew, I, knew, I knew it was quite a lot, yeah. of, bit, a lot of mountains in there. Oh, you've got a black Aurora, a dark ale, Pelican. Interesting. I've been to the highest uh, mountain in Europe, in the Alps. What is it, Matt Long? Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc, is it? Right, okay. Between France and Italy. I've been through right. the Mont Blanc Tunnel, which goes on forever. Okay, Imperial Stout. So not too bad then. Yeah, Batch yeah. 50, is that? Mm. Batch 50 Imperial Stout by Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Interesting. It's black. Let's dig one of the cans yeah. out. 5.xPA, oh, really? an extra pale ale, juicy and tropical. I've had that, that's, that's a Hackney based brewery. <laughs> well, that's a very Alpine, isn't it? <laughs> well, I guess it's their Alpine version. We'll find out when we get to yeah. the actual show, let's not read it now. Yeah. Oh, it's a stumpy little one. Mm. Like Belgian style. Yeah, it's a bit like, Trappist style. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Uh, mm. Resistance, mm. White Pony Microbrewery. Okay, Rooty and Rarity series. Could be uh, interesting, could be interesting. Uh, interesting beers. Uh, Zoe, Session IPA, it's got, yeah. got a monster on it. It's got some kind of sea serpent, mm. some kind of dragony kind of thing on there. It's quite a cool, uh, cool little one. And last one, Ninkasa Noir. That's black, isn't mm. it? Noir. Noir. <laughs> right, and uh, last time we went to the Stone Supermarket, they gave us a couple of uh, oh, yeah. freebies, yeah. Like, like a couple of bent cans, they gave yeah. us nothing. So we're Not bent as an illegal. <laughs> no, <laughs> I think they yeah. dropped them out of a case or something, yeah. so they got a little bit of denting on them. This one's yeah. a lager, Hunter, Hell's Lager. So we're going to add this to the... Um, to the yeah. equation as well. Maybe we have these last, so, eh? Is it Hells or Helles? I can never, I'm not sure. I don't know, I might, might, might pronounce it Helles. Yeah. Right, and this is a, a refreshingly crisp sparkling cider, High Diver. Mm. So we've got 10, cider. 10, be, 10 little things to drink tonight. Mm. And uh, we'll let you know how they, how they taste once we've tasted them. Yes. <laughs> we'll be back later to uh, get drunk. Hey, it's beer time! Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna look uh, I'm not gonna go blind. I'm just gonna go for the nearest one, which just happens to be this little squat fella here. Yeah. Resistance. Resistance is futile. Resistance. <laughs> Roots and Rarities series, White Pony Microbrewery. Are you ready for this? Go on. 8.5%. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Triple. Good start. Right. Uh, style is a trip here. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's that the style, is, is it? Yeah. Right, this series is all about some old or forgotten recipes from the book of the, our master brewer never released before. Enjoy. And this is nothing more than his everyday Abbey's inspired triple. Full malty, yet dry, shiny, blonde fluid, is what it says. Okay. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Mm. Oh yeah, you're not up, currently up the duff, are you, mate? interesting. Right. Are you currently up the duff? 
No, not yet. You're I, okay, I, I, I look like I am. Same here. Christmas. Uh, <laughs> I look like I've got my, Christmas baby. I'm having twins. <laughs> yeah. Right. White Pony Microbrewery is a one-man brewing project started in 2013 by a 24-year-old guy with Belgian roots. The name of the brewery is inspired by the Deftones album. The what? Deftones album? Yeah, yeah. Brewing uh, White Pony. Okay. Brewing. Never heard of it. Um, Innovative. I'm not into the depth tone anyway. Nah. But I like whiff of it as I opened it up actually. It was like, you know, do you remember that fucking um, that, uh, zombie movie, The Return of the Living Dead, when the, the car, when they, the, <laughs> the, like the, the drum opens and all the fumes <laughs> comes out, yeah. Yeah, turns them both into zombies. Yeah. Uh, that, was kind of the, that was kind of the impression, well, of course. I hope so. <laughs> I hope that um, brewing uh, extreme craft beers in the belief that brewing is an art, which is why each of their beers is paired with a music album. White Pony oh. brewed, brewed big beers full of taste while listening to some head-banging music. Keep it crazy. Okay. Um, tasting notes. A classic Belgian-style uh, triple. I want, triple. One, I, I want one that's been you know, based on a, a more interesting album. Yeah. I'm not into the Deftones, was it? Yeah, I don't know what Resistance is. Um, might be a song, I don't know. Yeah. Brewed with a couple of bass malts. Um, well, White Pony is the album by right. uh, Deftones. Um... Base malt, uh, wheat, sugar, and best Trappist yeast. Pouring okay. blonde with a medium mouthful. The character is uh, malty, citrus, cereal, yellow fruit, spice from the yeast, and the herbal hop notes. Right, we got um, just oh, these modern people. Just, can't come off their, just their messaging phones. the missus. Ah, uh, <laughs> She's basically, uh, she, no, she's just telling me, she's just saying how she longs for my touch, basically. It's one of those, you know, come, you know, please can you film me with your... With touch your, with touch your, begins with, with yeah. that, I thought, <laughs> C, yeah, touch begins with C, apparently. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. You've lost me with that one. <laughs> yeah. Right, we got um, Smooth at four. We got sweet fruit and floral. Oh, multi at four as well. Sorry, right. sweet fruit and floral at three. Uh, bitter at two. Hoppy at one, and sour at naught. Good old okay. sour. Uh, I must say, I've had some. Mm. Um, what's that? What is that Trappist one called? Mm. The um, uh, what is the, the Belgian that's one that's that's really quite well known? Um, D- Double Duvel. Yeah, Duvel. Yeah, yeah. Duvel, yeah I don't Duvel. mind Duvel. I've had yeah. Duvel a few times. Yeah, it's in that style of bottle, mm-hmm. isn't it? Mm. Right. Mm. Oh yeah, uh, makes your jaw stuff happens to your jaw when you drink it. It's, it's nice. quite smooth. Yeah, it? it's, it's very smooth. smooth. Yeah, hasn't got an enormous twang to it. Mm. All, I think, all I'm really getting is a little hint of the fact that it's quite strong. I feel like I'm getting the little, you know, telltale signs of this of this of the power. Oh, it's, but, uh, it's nice though. I really like it. Mm. Very rare you see Hoppy at one on this. Uh, be a fifty-two, really is it? Mm. It doesn't taste like 8.5, I don't feel. I don't, I don't feel I'm really feeling like the real, what you no. expect from 8.5. I, if I, were, I would guess it would be like maybe a 5 or 6 or yeah. something, you know, because it has a bit of a strength taste to it, but yeah, not like not that. overpowering. No. Like sometimes you get a real Ooh. kind of, Ugh, you know when you're fucking yeah. drinking something, because it tastes like fucking engine oil. It's really nice and drinkable. Mm. I like this. This is going to be up there from the start, I think. Anyway, while we drink that, I'll just uh, quickly um, tell you about editor's notes because uh, we, we mentioned right. it was um, based on the Alps. The Alps, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not necessarily, it doesn't have to all be from the Alps. No, some of them are just. Alps fire Hackney. Yeah. <laughs> East kind of London. Thing. Yeah. Um, this month we're out on the pissed. Yeah. Or that's later on, pissed. Yeah. Uh, with a whole box. Different meaning of pissed. With a whole box dedicated to Alpine beers and breweries, as well as interviews and. Aspray ski for, I presume that's how you say, uh, apre, apre ski. Yeah. Uh, food after, and drink after suggestions. Ski. After ski. And then, have you ever skied? Uh, only on a dry ski so once and someone uh, fell and broke their leg and it kind of put me off for life. Yeah. Um, we also take to the slopes ourselves on our handsome new B52 snowboard. Special uh, props to designer. Oh, I don't need to talk about that. It's all no. Good. But yeah, I mean, basically. The one sentence all we know, yeah. need to know. It's from. It's all uh, based the Alps. on the Alps. All yeah. based on the Alps. Luckily, it's not snowing outside like it is on the cover. Yeah. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Yeah, very nice. You couldn't drink too many before you went skiing, though, that's for fucking sure. 
We're still saying well, we'll probably feel it a bit later on fun, actually. Though. Yeah, probably, yeah. Well, you, you won't, hurt, won't hurt so much when, mm. you do, when you do break your leg. No. <laughs> no, exactly. Mm. Oh, I love your corn. It's nice stuff though. I've been not having it lately while I'm doing the uh, review mm. because I'm worried about the... the You're worried about yeah, the... Yeah, I won't, I won't do it. No. No, oh, I'll, I'll, it's, it's barbecue flavour. It's going to affect, oh. it's going to affect everything you fucking put in your mouth afterwards, isn't it? It's, it's to... not spicy though. No, but I just think the barbecue will it'll make everything smoke, smoking. Smoke barbecue, yeah. yeah. Baking it, I'll make everything baking it. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Yeah. It's not like it's a fucking mm. professional review anyway, is it? So it's just Talk- mainly, mainly it's us talking shit and me burping quite a lot. Talking to professional, <laughs> uh, um, I recently <sighs> went um, to the Mad Squirrel. Psychiatrist? Yeah, that, oh. <laughs> that. the Mad Squirrel uh, Brewery. In, um, I'm sure the beer 52 guys know about it. Hopefully uh, you want to get some beers from them in your, in your box because they're really good. They're based around the Hertfordshire area. Where yeah, your sister lives. bought me yeah. a couple of bottles from there from, for my, birth, for my birthday last year. That tour was like, because I did the Greenwich one, but that tour was like, like a different level. I mean, like the expertise and the cleanliness. Yeah. They're obsessed by cleanliness. Um, they're obsessed with just the knowledge. Like you know, no one's like less than a fucking PhD yeah. student in that place. So some people, I mean, the guys know. We're everything. amateurs when it comes to beer. I mean, some people yeah. are like. You know, I'm assuming they drink it as well. But some people yeah. are so fucking infused by it, so into it. Yeah. It's like they like to beer like I am to comics. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> or you are to whatever it is you like. <laughs> but they, they consider oh, themselves like the, the upper 10% of um, Britain's uh, like breweries, you know. I know mm. they're picking themselves up. But I, can't, I believe them because it's just the way he talks, the way he explains things. Like you can tell they're like the upper end of uh, brewery, brewing. Let's give me an, a, 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 a much renewed respect to craft bre- breweries, actually. Yeah. They're not, they're not, they're not fucking... They think about every process yeah. like you wouldn't believe, whereas most brewers are oh, just throwing some hops, just throwing some yeast. I'm sure they've all, like, sure oh. all got that so not even some, maybe yeah. some are more experimental than others. Yeah. I actually saw a job like going for a brewer, actually. Yeah. And I fucking wish I could fucking do that kind of shit. There was like a job advertised yeah. for a brewer and they were saying you've got, um, there's a... Uh, brewer's choice or something you can yeah. experiment like one vat you can do all for experiments whatever yeah. it is you want to do yeah. uh, that reminds you tomorrow I'm going on a whiskey blending course yeah I'm going to be very <laughs> drunk yeah something my sister get, got mm. me for Christmas so mm. I'm really looking forward to that where do you go, go for that where do something I, central where London do, oh I say where do they blend whiskey you fucking in yeah, because I thought that was all up in the fucking islands. Well, it's, it's Chivas Regal, um, right. who are a Scottish company like most whiskies, but uh, they. Chivas Regal, I always thought that was fucking French. No, Spanish. Sounds French. Oh. No, Spanish. What it is. Oh, right. What it is, uh, it's a Scot- it's Spanish it's a, name, but it's based in Scotland. Yeah, what it is, they, uh, like a lot of Scotch whiskers, they use Spanish barrels to, uh, 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 like, uh, mature their whiskey. Well, old, old sherry barrels. Yeah, that kind like of that. deal, yeah. Right. So that that's basically why they call themselves mm, Chivas. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that it's down in London, though, isn't it? But, yeah. You know. but, but what's, what's, what's it mean though with blending? What is blending the whiskey? Is that when they put different whiskeys together? Or yeah, like that, or? I, I don't know. I'm doing this course, so yeah. it's going to be interesting. I think they give you a, a variety of different styles of whiskeys, yeah. and you blend and see what what is yeah, the best. Yeah, they always talk about blend, and the only sort of you know knowledge, you know, the only definition of a blend I can think of is, is a mixture, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. Well, single malts are, you know, mm. they're, they're, they're just made by the one company and they're the, the high quality right. whiskies really. But blending is an art form as well. You know, is that the so. blending of the malts then? Is it the same malts that they use in beer? So it's got to be, there's not going to be... Well, no, it's literally the blending of whiskies that are already complete. Yeah, but when they say single malt... Single malt means... Just one type of malt. No, no. Uh, no, in... people think that. It's nothing to do with malts or anything. Okay. A single malt whiskey simply means... The whiskey is made of, by one company on one premises. Is that what it means? That's all it means. That's fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. It makes yeah. it sound like it's something important. It's just like, well, it's important. Uh, well, it's not. It's just it's clearly like a single... <laughs> what's it? It's just a single more. What's the other one type? What, what blended. You so you're a single more, you're a blended. That's it? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. You don't get a double more or a fucking triple more. So single malt is just a whiskey it's nothing that's to do brewed with in one, one place and a blended one will have whiskey from other places as well. That's it. Oh, well, I see. 
I bloody well say, though I say I do. The two that we got extras, so we just put them in wherever they come out. Doesn't, we haven't got to put the end or nothing like that, have we? Just do as we do them. But well, one's a lark and one's a side of that, yeah. so maybe <laughs> It's going to be yeah, weird, yeah. yeah. The Five Points yeah. Brewing Company. In five Hackney. Points XPA. Actually, so we leave them to the end, because uh, we don't want to put them in the list, because we're, we're doing the end of the score for these ones, don't we? Should we put them as if they come out of this box and uh, review yeah, them as well? Yeah. Give them put, m- give, them, give us some love. Okay, fair yeah. enough. <laughs> Free beer, you might as well appreciate it. Even though it's lager and cider, but it's something yeah. new. Right, an extra pale ale, juicy and yeah, tropical yeah. flavours. Dry hopped with citra and galaxy hops. 4%. I don't too, I'm not too sure how this has got anything to do with the app. It's not in there. Not in there, but uh, it, that's... You know, I think they've made a mistake because that's got nothing to do with um, no the, the Alps. Do you reckon it was on the shelf next to it? Yeah, beer someone's 52. made a mistake. If, but... you, if you watch this, you've sent us the wrong beer. Please reimburse us and send us an extra free box <laughs> yeah, for free. Because you're disastrous mistake. Yeah. Wait, which one, what one are we missing? What one are we missing? Because you know, I'm really oh, upset. Know, just... uh, it'll be one of these ones because that's a 10-pack. Yeah, that's 10 a 12-pack. Pack. So everything from this Eight side pack. onwards has got to be the... Uh, we've got that one. Juju juice. Yeah, we ain't got that one. Where's our flipping Where's juju, our juju juice? Juju juice. We've got a bloody XPA <laughs> instead. Oh. Juju juice. Personally, I think that we should stop buying them, and I think we should encourage everyone to stop buying oh. them unless they somehow see that we are sorted out. <laughs> I tried to wink. See if you can do it and get the same time. <laughs> sort us out, backhand. Yeah, but, you know, not a backhand. It's a fucking few more boxes for oh, free. Yeah. Look, wonder where Eric, I wonder. Does anybody? Can anybody guess where Eric has left his glass? Oh, it's all the way oh, on yeah. the other side of the table. <laughs> Even though I pour the drinks every single bloody time, he always insists on leaving it as far away from me as human possible oh, it's a habit it's almost like he doesn't want to have an, another drink but yeah they're based in um in Mare Street Hackney <laughs> right. I've so, been I've so been past the brewery is that anywhere near the Alps <laughs> close I've heard there's lots of skiing around that part of the world it's a yeah. very, very popular mountain climbing destination <laughs> it is Hackney yeah for sure <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think this is a five pints is pretty good though. I, I've think, had some an, of I think this is an imposter in the box. Yeah, maybe if we yodel into it, it'll it'll. You know, that stuff is high hot though. If, you know, if we yodel while we drink it, maybe it'll feel like we're in the Alps, and it will still feel like an Alpine uh, related beer. Because so like, even when it came out the box, I was like, "What's that doing in there?" I, I must have got even stupider than normal because now it's completely blanking me. Oh, right. yeah, <laughs> Fruit and hoppy. Yeah, that's not fruity. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Snow on the Alps. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I just, oh, it takes me back just, to Yeah, I can sniff this and I can just smell this. Uh, oh. so I can hear the skiers yeah. swooshing through the snow, yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 4%. I'm guessing hoppy. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. It's really quite mm, brutal. You've not looked at the fucking thing yet. Well, oh, we haven't got it. We've not looked at the fucking thing. What am I saying? Yeah. I can tell you hoppy would be five. Mm. Mm. <sighs> what was interesting about the uh, Mascot Brewery as well, the tour, was he dispelled a few myths. Okay. He reckons uh, beer in a can is better quality than beer in a bottle. That was one thing. <sighs> <laughs> no. He reckoned um, cast beer is not as good as keg beer, mm. um, but it can be a good. But the problem is, what he gets worried about is pubs don't look after the cast properly. Yeah, that's right. If you don't, look, more, up, if you don't look after yeah. the cast, then you're fucking yeah. going to be shit. It's more. But what is the difference between a cask and a keg? A cask is pumped up by by pre- pressure in it. By yeah, pressure. Although whereas the, the keg beer is done by uh, CO2. CO2. Yeah. yeah. So I was thinking, what's the word? Um, I thought that the only sort of CO2, like, it was always lager. I thought that was the whole point of that. That was one, one of the main facts, facets of lager was the fact it was... Because apparently the myth is, is like, back, back old kegs used to, um, you get the beer that's flat and then they'd put CO2 in it to pump it out. Yeah. But nowadays, it's not that. Uh, CO2 is used as a pressure. So, yeah. um, with craft beer, it comes out naturally carbonated. And, yeah, um, they... I mean, the only reason why they occasionally use cars, it's just a nice tradition. Yeah. But 
Really? But as long as they keep, as long as the, the, yeah. the pub is, is maintaining their cast and changing them over when oh. it needs to be changed over and shit like that, then there's no reason that it can't be good. As yeah. long as the, the turnover is, is over. I think the kegs keep longer, don't they? Are they, are they yeah, yeah, pro- yeah, they do, yeah. And, um... Always, when it comes to the bottles and cans, thinking about it, I mean, back in the day we never had cans, did they? So yeah. when they were first making to, beer, bottles were the only option for storing. Well, them. and and and, and uh, the tin technology was poor at the beginning. You'd yeah. be able to taste tinny or whatever, yeah. but now uh, the technology is better. So That's, I yeah, know. interesting. I don't know if I actually do. I care. I don't oh. know. Maybe maybe traditionally I'm thinking it's, it's you know, bottle is like I don't know. It's just kind of more real. Yeah, still real but, to me. Damn it. We we are. Uh, it's funny, like we we do love our old man brown beer, but oh. um, what what we're <laughs> what I'm being told is that ain't really at great quality beer compared to a lot like the high quality premium craft owls. What do you think about quality? If they go yeah. by, if they go he by... wasn't against it. He like he likes yeah, but a if, bitter. But, but if they're going by taste, then yeah. you know, yeah, exactly. That, that's the main quality. Yeah, that's yeah. the quality you're really interested in. That yeah. it fucking tastes nice. And some like this one. <sighs> Yeah, no. It's a bit, bit much. Yeah, it's, it's just a... Uh, it's just a hop fest. Yeah, really, no. pretty much. Mm. I mean, maybe I'm a little bit more used to hops than I were, it. but yeah. it's kind of like... It's quite the upper end, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like a, like mm. a hoppy acid, isn't it? It's like, you know, mm. it's got that hop... You know, imagine this yeah. really fucking give you the burps and... Mm. Uh, it's yeah. like fucking... Uh, in Germany, when we used to go to mm. fucking Wacken... The beer I used to serve in Wacken was all right. I think I'm not sure if it was hoppy yeah. or not, but there's something acidic about it. Always gave me the fucking worst shits ever, that fucking beer in, in Wacken. Yeah. Really fucking Really, good. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's funny, when, when, when the uh, guy at the tour said, oh, has anyone done a brew? And I said, yeah, meantime. It, mm. It's funny, he just went through people and went, uh, yeah, commercial entity, take over by Japanese, move on. So funny. Oh, oh yeah. Rebellion. No, they're crap. Like, he was like, fucking like, yeah. really like, on the case. What, so a lot of these breweries have already been taken over by fucking big companies, are they? Yeah, well, I knew Meantime was, because they, 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 uh, he says he likes Meantime beer, but yeah. uh, they, they are have been taken over hugely it's commercial. Just fucking business, isn't it, really? Yeah. Anything gets popular, I don't know. Yeah. You know. Mad Squirrel has been offered... Um, um, Who's been offered? Uh, Mad Squirrel have been offered oh, right. a, a supermarket to go into supermarkets, but they, they said you can. The only thing is... They can kill your dead as well. The demand is so like high, they can kill your dead. Mm. Supermarkets. You'll either be successful or you'll be fucked. Right. So it's kind of they're a little bit like, shall we do it? Mm. And also they don't want to. Um, they don't want to um, give up their one hundred percent fucking the way they do the beer. You yeah. know? They don't want to compromise. You don't, yeah. Like, you don't, do you don't want somebody. They spend a long time overseeing beer. what you do and telling you what to yeah. fucking do. You, if it's, yeah. it's, it's your baby. You want to fucking bring it up yourself. They want to be 100% you know. yeah. top-notch how they are, you know, so... Mm. They don't rush their beer. What one was that? A mad squirrel. Mm. Crazy, it was just outside of Hemel Hempstead. It was a There's a guy in the comic community who calls himself Mad Squirrel or something. Okay. Squirrel, I'm sure there is. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. They used to be called Red Squirrel. Right. But... Match squirrels, they got a bit mad. Yeah, they got a bit mad. They went mad. Mm, fair enough. It happens. Probably mad that because all the red squirrels have been killed off by the grey squirrels. That would yeah, yeah. anyone mad, wouldn't it? If you yeah. were a squirrel. <laughs> yeah, glad to see the back of this one. Um, maybe I'm more used to the hops now, but it's just it's just got that. What do you call it? Uh, oh. you say hops are bitter. I think they are. They even hops. yeah. It has hops. a bit of a kind yeah. of taste. It, uh, it goes. We're not bitter like yeah. in the drink bitter, Sharp, but just in it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what score did you um, uh, resistance by? I forgot to say. For me, that was really nice. I'd, I'd um, give that a four, I think. Certainly three and four. I'll, I'd go, say four. I'll go. Oh, I'm a bit reticent. I'm saying three or three and a half, I think. Yeah. And this one? Oh, two. Yeah. yeah. Two and a half, three for me. Yeah. Yeah, it's already, I've already got a like, wider. Well, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. It's making my fucking. Whole head feel like it's been I don't know, See, what was, what smacked was, around by a hop or something. You know, you know what? The, you know the juju juice. Yeah. Two point eight. Oh it's wow. Like French. It's a low low alcohol okay. stuff. Okay. So no. lucky we ain't got it. Then. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, mind you, this is this is this is hardly a fucking replacement, mm. was it? 
But you know, these things happen. Oh, right. Nincasi Noir, Bien Noir de Lyon, World Beer Awards. Wow. Milieu Porta au Monde. Is it a porter? It says porter on it. It's a French porter style. 5.1. Come on. Interesting. <clears throat> most perplexing mystery. <laughs> Why the fuck did I just say most perplexing mystery for? <laughs> I don't know, because it's a Nikashi Noir, it sounds like... It sounds like it's the most it's French mystery. I'm sure I must have got a line from a fucking film or something, I don't know. A most perplexing mystery. Right. Alright, it's got a nice little glug. Um, so it's kind is there of, anything written on it? Uh, only what I read, really. Okay. It's, it's a porter, but it's not as dark mm. as some porters, it's more of a brown porter. It's got a nice head on it. I've yeah. really maybe pulled that bit too lively. Let's go for the old tasting like notes. Nice um, Nikasi Noir is a sweet, smooth beer with a coffee and chocolate notes. Ooh. The beer is inspired by a 19th century brown beer. Bran beer. Bran! What's, what's French for bran? Bran. Bran. Le bran. Le bran. <laughs> bran. <laughs> It's like, where, it's like uh, Spanish, just for L yeah. for everything. It could be Les Brown. Yeah, Les Brown, L it Depends brown. if it's brown a feminine colour or a masculine colour. Yeah, it's Les and <laughs> Los. Le Brown. L and L. La Brune. Brewed in Lyon and known throughout France, at the time the town had numerous breweries, but they gradually disappeared with the arrival of the industrial era. A true Lyonnaise beer. Cool. Oh, yeah. Aromas, chocolate, 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 caramel, <laughs> notes, grillies. So it's it's, it's an evil stuff. It's got it? notes of grillies, apparently. What's the ingredients? Uh, so I need to look at the ingredients. Oh, the ingredients: uh, blah, 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 blah. water, barley, malt, hop, sugar, yeast. Cool. That's it, really. It's typical stuff. Remember what I'm not doing? Oh, you trying to avoid yeah. vegan? Well, yeah. Uh, anything oh, yeah. lactose? Oh yeah. Like milk. Yeah. Oh shit! I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Although I was quite disturbed by the icing glass thing, and uh, Matt oh, was yeah, Matt Screw was telling me that like majority of bitters to make it clear has got icing glass. Matt Screw only used a tiny bit on certain beers, yeah. but they're not into it. Icing glass is banned in America. Oh, right. Virtually banned in Germany. Okay. It's, it's like virtually banned everywhere, but we Why still is have it. Banned? it. I don't know. I think it's cheating. Like I think like, top brewing. I think think it's well, almost well, like cheating. You know, you're making a beer clear. It doesn't need to be clear, no. does it? You it's, know, it's, it's just cosmetic, then, isn't it? It's just yeah, for cosmetic. Purposes. Pure cosmetic thing. It doesn't have any effect on the taste. No. Or like well, that. funny enough, he did actually say it does affect the taste and not for the good. Oh right, so it makes it fishy. Fishy. Yeah, it makes it fishy. Yeah. Here you go. Get your lug holes around there. Get your old north and south around that one, fella. North and south. Uh, anyway, the. Uh, and can we have in the comments below? Is it yeah. Lesbrun, Lebrun, or Labrun? <laughs> Sneaker, mate. Probably. Um, anyway, we got multi on four. We got uh, sweet on three. We got bitter, smooth, sour on two. We got floral and fruit and hoppy on one. So we're talking malty and sweet, apparently. Not, not much smell, is there? None, really. No, I'm not getting any chocolate mm. smell. I wonder well, if I fucking know. Floral is low. No, no. Aren't quite right. It says it's got chocolate aromas, but. Coffee aromas. Right, okay. Let's go in. It's not bad. Mm. Oh yeah, oh it's quite nice. It is quite sweet. Mm. The first taste is think... sweet, and then it, then the uh, beer sort of. I don't think the sweetness touching. lingers for too long. It's not. Yeah. Like, it's not. A, maybe if you drop a lot, the sickly yeah. sweetness would 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 you know would so get strong. there. But at the moment, it's um. Tastes like it could be stronger than five point one. Yeah. yeah. It's quite pleasant. It's quite chewy. In fact. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Quite little... molasses yeah. sort of uh, mm. thing going on. Mm. Yeah, it's quite nice. Mm. But quite heavy, you know. I, I'm not sure if I could drink like pint after pint of it, but um. I think I think if you'd have, I think two pints. Two. I think like the, the sweetness. The first of all, I thought the sweetness went off quickly. Mm. But as I say, I think the more you drank it, the sweetness would gather. And yeah, it, it is. It would cling. Yeah. It'd be cloying to mm. your mouth, kind of thing. You know what I mean? And I think eventually you. Mm. I think if you had a skin full of this, 
You'd wake up the next morning, you'd, oh, you'd have a head Seven. like a fucking hole, mate. Yeah, it's good though. Yeah. Mm. But it's not, it's not a bad thing necessarily to not drink too much of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it doesn't mean it's it's not nice because you don't want to drink too much. It just means that you've got to respect sometimes the the strength of the flavours or you know oh. even the strength of the alcohol sometimes. That's a Thinking for a second. Like maybe like a little hint of dates or something like that, you know. Yeah. Just, just I think it's more the fact that the sweetness reminds yeah. me of the sweetness of a date, if you know. Yeah. Oh dear, first <laughs> Put it this way, this is from France. It's better than the beer I had earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> little, yeah. On the old Bio and Vinyl yeah. show, yeah, a little 2.9 fucking piece of crap or 2.8 yeah. whatever it was. I'm the only one drinking it, it's been in that fridge for like years or something <laughs> yeah. like that. I'm the only one that's drunk it. It's not great. Because <laughs> you're not fucking, uh, what do you call it? You're not fussy. I'll take anything, I don't care. <laughs> well, this is nice, I like this one. Not yeah. massive taste, I don't think, but it's like, like a nice little yeah. sweetness to it. A little mm. bit of chewiness, like you say. Mm. Um, mm. Yeah. Definitely chewy. Mm. I don't know what... Do I like oh, 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 that one more? It's uh, quite difficult. Yeah, it's a multi sweet yeah. for a year. What did you what would you score this one? Um I, I'd go three point five moving on to a four. Yeah. Like three point five because I know I wouldn't drink loads of this in a night. No, you know? so but the, the a, actual yeah. flavour of it is, is good yeah. though. But I think I don't think really necessarily good. you can mark it down because you only have a two. If it's just the fact you think, oh, yeah. it would be too much after two, the two would be nice. You'd fucking enjoy the two. Yeah, yeah. But when you start moving on to the three, you might start yeah. going, oh, well, I'm getting a bit too... Yeah. <laughs> but listen, might this taste... Well, it might be the other way around. You After yeah. you've had two, you, you might... You don't so... need two of them. Yeah. yeah. But it might be the other way around. After you've had yeah. two, you might have really got the fucking flavour for it, you know? It's, it's sometimes yeah. the, the sweet... You get used to the sweetness. Yeah. And, like, you, you know, it becomes moreish. Definitely a 3.5 to yeah. 4. I might, might even uh, go for a 4. We'll see. What do you think? Yeah, definitely 3.54, yeah. Yeah. I'd say the same. I oh, fucking forgot what we've already got. But that's definitely the bottom one. I'm going to try and put these in an order as I go along, because my memory is so crap. <laughs> not only have I forgotten, not only have I forgotten, what the scores I've given them were. I've also forgotten the fact that we're supposed to be giving them the scores. <laughs> yeah, I forgot as well. But the thing is, if you do that, that might not be my. Uh, that's for my that's for my visual aid, mate. Yeah, you have to work out your own order. To be honest, we we tend we, <laughs> in, we tend to eat, agree last, really. Yeah, don't last we? couple of times. Yeah. I definitely agree. So far, anyway. Mm. I think it's basically the same order, but you scoring like maybe a, a, a half a half a mark above me. I tend to. So as why whereas I'm three three point five, you're three point five four. Yeah, generally. Yeah. I mean, what there was a beer the other. Show where you scored higher than me, I think, for the first That's time. Right. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. It was the it's first a funny, time. funny day, wasn't it? It's was a funny yeah. day in history. We should have noted that down in our diaries. I think we were pissed. <laughs> he gets more agreeable when he's pissed, so, like, stuff he hated before, he probably went, This is really and nice. It, and funnily enough, you're more of a cunt when you're yeah. pissed. Only yeah. <laughs> no, joking. He's a nice fellow all the time. Yeah. Not really. Are we going to go for our, uh, one of our. Yeah. Free, free biz. Yeah, why not? Yeah. I've got a cider. Oh. High diver. This is going to be... Some rinse. Yeah, might as well, actually. Good, yeah. good idea. Get... Ooh. Yeah, I will have to taste the sweetness. Some, like a couple of... Half a minute after I've drunk it, I suddenly got another hit of taste kind of thing. That's yeah. how it sort of lingers in your, in your palate. That's, yeah. That, you know, noir. All right, a little bit of cider. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I say... High Diver plunges you into a world of fine bubbles and bobbing apples. A luxurious blend with Cox and Bramley apples. What? Medium dry, marrying friendly acidity with a bright aromatic fruit character. Got a little bit of burp trap there. It's a perfect partner to oysters and seafood, or simply to enjoy on its own. Take a dive and see what you find. 4.8% made with fresh apples, never from concentrate. 
Kentish Pip. Yeah. Produced in Kent, Canterbury, Kent. Yeah. Cool. Nice. Good. Let's get our laughing gear around this then, shall we? Yeah. I say, old bean. It's different, isn't it? I could mean, could never it be an awful? Oh, it's clear as anything. Yeah. It's like water. It's so clear. I wonder, will be a 52 ever put what? a sock? <laughs> the <MFF 52? laughs> <laughs> Have you been talking to fucking Donald Trump with Confeffi? <laughs> it's Beer Feffi, the new thing. I'm going Spanish. Fally on, Fally on. Chris yeah. Waddle. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Waddle. I wonder if Beer 52 will ever um, stick in a cider. Just yeah. For, uh, you know, or. I suppose they could, uh, they've got an option there to, to, yeah. to move into other really things. Beer, yeah. but, you know, it's uh, alcohol. No, it's it? all part of the same. It's very room. light, isn't it? It's yeah. Also, yeah, it's very, 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 very light. Yeah. All part of the same boozy family, isn't it? I think you might be right. I don't know whether probably probably not best to put these in the countdown. I don't they're know. They're completely different beer, and they're side as a cider, you know. Yeah. How do you compare that to a beer? Well, we could see. Um, we, we'll we can. See. I was going to plug this we'll in. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Mm. I like a cider, actually. Yeah, I, I don't drink it as much as maybe I used to. In the summer, I tend to have a cider when it's hot. You know? I'm getting an idea. It's going to be crisp. Mm. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Very refreshing. <laughs> Didn't die on this. Definitely a hint of, hit of apple there, didn't you? Yeah. Nice little crisp apple hit. It's good. It's not really sharp. It's not like Strombo where it's really no. too sharp, is it? It's really nice sort of taste. I think it's got a, a, a mm. more of a mm. proper apple taste. Yeah. You actually, you know, like the crispness of biting into an apple. Mm. Where some of the ciders you, you drink, you wouldn't fucking actually know it was yeah, apples. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're, they're you, know, you know it's apple because it's cider, oh. but you don't actually get like a necessarily a taste of apple. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not bad. I didn't think you could use uh, British cops to make cider. I thought you had to do specialised cider apples, but I guess. I thought you could make it with any cider. I suppose. Of any could, apples, yeah. I mean. But I think for quality, I didn't think <coughs> you could use, you know. No, with the. Well, I think, e eatable cider. So I think with, with cider, it's just as experimental in its way as, as the beers can be. You Absolutely. know what I mean? I'm pretty wine sure. As well, yeah. Like, yeah. It's like, you know, you, if you're willing to try, you could probably make it with, hmm. you know, whatever. <laughs> I remember the fact. My mum's homemade wine, she made it with oh. fucking carrots and fucking everything. Wine, you can do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pear wine, carrot wine, mm. carrot and ginger. Oh, uh, that's something I found out. I need to let Carly know that, um, you know, the, she's thinking of doing wine. Yeah. That thing Lucy's got, it's perfect. Right. She said it's perfect for crushing, crushing grapes. Crush a grape. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. <laughs> yeah, I can crush so a grape. It's a whole different um, kind of like flavour and feel to drink a cider after drinking those beers, isn't it? Weird, isn't it? It's like, uh, like I thought, like, uh, especially after the dark mm. one, my mouth felt like it had like a, a, like a sweet kind of coating. Yeah. Like, it's you know so I mean? different after that one, isn't it? Yeah, and this yeah. one comes in and it kind of washes away mm. the uh, the cloyingness of it's the... It's a pleasant cider, actually. Yeah. I quite like it. I could, I could quite happily drink this uh, at a barbecue. Yeah. Nice like, hot summer's so day. So it's a funny thing because, like, I wonder if they're, like... A, a beer 52 version of a cider box mm. maybe the thing with cider is like when i initially have it i really like it but i very quickly go off of it right and, I, and then i want a beer is that the sweetness yeah yeah i, I very quickly want i'm actually getting the yeah. sweetness now actually. yeah <laughs> i was like to myself it starts off nice and like a uh, crisp and you know refreshing yeah. and uh clears away like the the summer's amazing for a cider. yeah like, like, i I'll, yeah. I'll have a cider all day in the summer you yeah know? Well, I used to drink cider a lot because it's mm. fucking cheap and gets you pissed. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was back when, like, some ciders were so strong in the UK, they banned them. Yeah, <laughs> bastards. Spoil well, sports. I know, I know. That's what we used to drink all the time in the 90s, night, all the 8.4. Yeah. Ice Dragon, my bedroom. Ice Dragon. My bedroom yeah. is decorated after this cider can. Yeah. We used to drink, there's, there's a uh, drink called Ice Dragon. Yeah. Like, different shades of green, and I've painted my bedroom in the colours of the Ice Dragon can, and with, with silver, awesome. like, uh, balls and stuff a photo like that. Of it. And I've actually got, a, but I think about 240 cans, old cans, which is obviously yeah. drunk all, and an alcove in my bedroom, piled from that sort yeah. of waist high all the way up to the ceiling, these mm. uh, <laughs> these cans of cider. I called it my Ice Dragon Altar. Yeah. And uh, literally, Bows down to it literally me and my then girlfriend just, just put in the finishing touches to decorate in the fucking bedroom. She went down the off license to go and get some ciders. Come back, they changed the fucking cover, the uh, can design. Oh no! Turn it in fucking blue and silver. 
<laughs> After we just decorated the whole room in the colours of the Ice Dragon can. <laughs> Things you do. Yeah. When you're young. That's quite sad. Yeah. Though, isn't it? I, I used to love that stuff. Yeah. Um, Much better than White Lightning. White Lightning yeah, is horrible. It's too sharp. It's horrible, sweet and sick. My favourite of all the uh, mega strong ciders is K. Mm. K ciders uh, doesn't even taste that strong. I like that stuff. And that's the only one that still is yeah. 8.4. Yeah. Because I think the others were designed mm. just to be cheap and uh, mm. alcoholic. Well, that one's always a little bit more expensive, but it was it was in existence, I think, before yeah. the, the glut of cheap white ciders came along. They banned all the strong lagers as well for a while, like special brew. Yeah. Um, you don't get 10 Kestrel. super, Kestrel super strength, you don't see anymore. You see special brew, but I think they put the volume down of alcohol. It used to be nine. Well, my mum giving us fucking special brew with Then you've got the Polish stuff now, though. My mum used to give us special brew with the kids. Ah, oh, she's a great mum. Yeah. She's <laughs> a great mum. <laughs> she doesn't like a can, and yeah. she gives a little fucking drop each, you know yeah. what I mean? You know, the kids are like, fucking yeah. hell, they want to try everything, don't they? But, um... But now you've got all those strong Polish bloody lagers in the supermarket. Yeah. You know, in the sweet shops. That was decent. That was nice enough. Yeah. But, I tell you what, I'm glad... I, I know... Um, maybe I'm glad we don't get cider boxes because yeah. I think the sweetness and the acidity. I'm not sure there's too much difference between like because you can get a dark beer and a light beer. Like I, I think how much yeah. difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get Perry's as well yeah. and stuff like that. But I'm not sure there must. Be, I mean, because we've not actually tried any cider boxes. I don't know yeah. if they actually exist. But yeah, I imagine they could make it. Probably, I don't know. You're, Initially, I was like, I'm following, following you. I think they, they couldn't make them so much different that it would be mm. interesting enough to have a box. Yeah. But I'm sure of all the experimentation they did, they probably use all different bloody well. Uh, I'm sure you could do one. So, there are different mm. apples in there, but I don't yeah. think apples give that much of a different taste. No. From but you can apples, uh, do the they? pears as well. Yes. Yeah. Pear, pear stuff. And... I mean, do they put stuff, I mean, do they put <clears throat> malts in it or anything like that to, to maybe change up the flavour? Or is it literally just, it's literally just apples, isn't it? And water. I, I don't really well, don't know how cider's made, to be honest. So this is maybe Cox and Bramley. Yeah. But I can't imagine a, a French Golden mm. Delicious or a Pippin would necessarily make a, a much different mm. flavour. That's cool, though. Yeah, that was a little break would from you, Would the... you score it? I know we're not really uh, adding Yeah, this is a point to the score. Yeah, 3.5, something like it's that. It's beer 52 plus, yeah. plus one. Plus I think, um... I don't know. I'll give it a 3.5. 3.5? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give, um, I think it's, it's kind of thrown me a bit because I'm so used to the, uh, having mm. the beer. It's, it's kind of like weird. I'm not sure if I'm giving an, an accurate like uh, taste accurate. reading because of mm. the fact that um, True. I'm not used to having it uh, you know, alongside. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll think the mm. 2.5, 3, maybe a 3. Yeah. Make sure you leave a stout to last. Yeah, I was looking at yeah. it. I wasn't too sure this is another stout. Dark last. Batch 50, yeah. Imperial Stout. Tell me if it's legal. Oh, it's got no milk in it, you mean? Yeah. Uh, no, no milk. Cool. Uh, what is it? It's got horse in it, though. Is that all right? Oh, no, horse is right. <laughs> yeah. Scam. <laughs> no, water, malts, oats, hops, yeast. What is, the, what is it? Uh, <laughs> what batch is it? 50, Imperial Stout. Oh, nice. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Oh my God, have you seen how strong it is? <laughs> have you seen how strong it is? I think I just saw We're it. We're talking about special <laughs> brewing, Kestrel, aren't yeah. we? This is up frick. there. Oh my frick. God. Frick, 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 frick. Imperial Stout. Where's it from? Oh, it's from Slo Slovenia. Oh, Slovenia. I thought Slovenia. It, the, 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 it's Reservoir Dogs. For some reason, I think mm. it's a London brewery. For some reason. I don't know no what. info? Not much, no, nothing. Oh, the, other than a 9.5 strength, oh I don't God. think we actually... Did you actually tell me it was 9.5? 9.5, we, we just screamed. Yeah. Um, 9.5! Um, so, Star Wars Imperial Stout. Uh, brewed using eight different types of malt. Wow. Jesus. To go get a well-balanced Imperial Stout. With a full body, silky texture and gentle aromas. And taste of chocolate, caramel and coffee. And the hops are Slovenian, of course. This time, Styrian Bobek. Styrian? That's a football Steve. player. Didn't he used to play for mm. Palace? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, Morty is five. Yeah, I bet it is. Um, I tell you what, it's pouring like fucking treacle. It's like, it's got hardly yeah. any head on it. I, t I actually tried pouring <laughs> it a bit faster, see if we can get some head. I think there's some massive sediment on the bottom as well. Cool. Morty oh, is five. 
Report the sediment in, that'll make us regular tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Smooth is four. Oh, nice. uh, sweet, bitter, hoppy is three. Does it have a Does it have a, a star rate for lightnings to make you go blind? Yeah. <laughs> Flora is two, fruit okay. is one, sour is no. So we're talking hoppy and smooth with a little bit of... Uh, that's smooth and malty. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of aroma. Oh yeah. A little soft, maybe coffee. Lovely talking. smell Quite actually. Gentle. Mm, this is gonna, it's gonna kill, isn't it? Or yeah. Do, will it taste like a? I, was, I think it's gonna. It have smells a heavy like it's taste. gonna be brutal. Oh yeah. Oh, that coffee sort of taste is mm. really good. It's really strong taste, mm. though. Mm. Wow, the aftertaste is really bitter, isn't it? That has got loads of fucking taste. That's as yeah. chewy as fucking anything. <laughs> yeah, I oh. thought the last one was chewy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. That's got a range of different flavours that kind of Literally, you could put a spoon in it and it'd stay in there. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. The flavour kind of changes as you, as you fucking as you drink it. Oh, wow. Look, I think it must be all different oh. malts firing off at different stages. Yeah. It's like a fucking I rocket. can taste, definitely <laughs> taste the coffee and oh. caramel. It's a real kind of like, mm. ooh, a, a strong kind of coffee kick, oh. not a smooth it's coffee. It's brutal. This is like a special beer that you... Oh. This is enough. Oh. I mean, uh, uh, I can you imagine drinking a pint of this. Be, be heavy, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah, it's heavy as fuck, isn't it? Oh. Wow. It's like the opposite to, like, you know, we get a hoppy beer, it's too hoppy. This mm. feels like the other end. Maybe two more. Yeah, no, two no, more. No, I don't know. I think too, it's uh, too strong, maybe. Yeah, mm. I, I kind of like it. I like the kind oh, of... Oh, I like it. I like the, I like I like it. the, the, the way the malt flavours, like, um, oh, when, when they draw much. out or when they're quite strong, yeah. the malt flavours much more kinder to my mouth and much more interested to my mouth than yeah. the hop. The yeah, hop oh, definitely. Burn, yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. much prefer the fucking... Like I said, that's why I call it the chewiness, I think. Yeah, well. this is more of an alcohol burn. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's kind mm. of, it's almost like it feels like it's warm. <laughs> mm. Oh, pardon of me. After taste is very bitter. I would have put bitter up higher because it's got a very bitter sort of taste to it, bit. isn't it? Bitters on three. It's about. certainly got a little yeah. bit of twang, but it's like yeah. um. Wow, like the really sharp, really strong coffee kind of. It's, uh, it's infecting our voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the taste, and I do like these strong stout porters, like a mega strong. It's so uh, thick, isn't it? It's yeah. a thick flavour. But yeah, it's got, a, like I say, I always uh, compare when a beer goes above six or seven, I think mm. of it as more heading towards a barley wine sort of taste. Mm. And this is definitely a barley wine kind of style. Um, it's like it's nice, but oh, there's no no way I'm. Uh, really I wouldn't want to do a pint, really. Uh, maybe uh, a pint. Maybe uh, a pint. Yeah. yeah. Maybe two. Maybe maybe I get a bit used to it. It almost feels like you. I a think whiskey, you, I like think you'd <laughs> relax. No, <laughs> yeah. in that style, you'll just yeah. relax, have a bit of it, yeah. relax. It's really nice. Well, I, I'm fine with it. it. Sometimes you, you you put a beer in your mouth, right, and Ooh. you don't really get any kind of flavour. You kind of like, mm. oh, it just feels like water, like in your mouth, mm. and a little bit of hint of this, tiny little hint. This is like. Whoa! Yeah. I am flavour! Hear yeah. me roar! You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's like, whoa! It's like every kind of stage and it goes in your mouth, you, you get a hint of like, um, like you know, the bittery it's maltiness. Like, when you swallow it, when you put it yeah. in there, it's just like, it's, it feels slightly different it's levels like, of flavour. It, it's like it. heavy metal in a glass. It, <laughs> yeah. It's basically saying, you're not going to ignore me. Yeah. Uh, it's going in your mouth and you will not ignore me. Oh, wow, fucking hell. Uh, like, when you hear Muse heavy metal mm. on the radio, it instantly people like are either love it or they hate it, but you can't ignore it. <laughs> it reminds me of this beer. Cool. Oh, blimey. So it's almost like a, when I talk about being, you know, having hot muggings, this is like a malt mugging. Malt mugging, It is yeah. a malt mugging, isn't it? It's like, wow. I bam. think it's just a higher alcohol it's, content. Yeah, it? that as well. It's got yeah. something that is you know, definitely, oh, oh that's, that's got to have a factor. Wow. I'm not too sure how coffee fired it is though. Are you, is it like yeah, a, a little bit. I can sort of taste it. Yeah. yeah. But it's just literally it. just it just feels like a, just that dark 
yeah. you know, multi thick. kind of yeah, really thick. I thought that one was thick. You you drink yeah. this and you think you want to poke your t- you yeah. you think you want to poke your tongue at it and have a hairy tongue or something. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> look at that. It's like it, it's very it's creamy. Oh. Oh. oh, I say. Was that word you? It's fist fist. What was it? What did I say? <laughs> what was that? Fiscus or something. Fis- oh, viscous. 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 Very viscous. It's like sticky and. Oh. Uh... Oh. To be honest, if I had to score it, I'd probably give it a three. It's, it's, it's a bit much. Yeah, bit I much. am. I am. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm agreeing with you. We're yeah. fucking getting too agreeable, mate. It's yeah. far too agreeable. Yeah. yeah. I think... It's a lovely flavour, but oh, it's but like... I'm not it, sure. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a strong flavour. Yeah. It's an interesting flavour. Mm. It's got fucking character and it fucking lets you know you're drinking it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It doesn't, it doesn't go down fucking like a... It's not subtle, that, is it? doesn't it? go down without a fight, does it? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's not subtle at all. But I'm glad we're sharing the oh. bottle. Yeah, it, 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 like I say, it is, it's got that vibe of um, having a whiskey where you just sip a bit. Yeah, and it's, you know. Yeah, that probably that for the thing. best, you know. Yeah. Wow, it's kind of memorable because it's, mm. it's it is strong as fuck. It's like strong in in, in taste, not just strong. Well, in I alcohol, think that's but strong in taste. Also. I think that's the strongest beer we've had on um, mm. uh, beer fifty two. I don't think we've ever had more than nine point five. Wow. I think we've had an 8.5 before and stuff like that, but I don't think we've ever I'm had quite an happy as well, because you don't really sort of realise that stouts and porters exist in, like, uh, no, in other countries, even. Oh, right, OK. Fair enough. Oh, if someone said, oh, yeah. you know, it's what do they drink in Slovenia? Oh, lagers, you know, they, well, they call them yeah, beers, but they're, they're like, like German, kind of like yeah. our lagery kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, here's, a, here's an imperial stout, 9.5, we're like, well, fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, and the same, with the same with the French porter as well. I was quite surprised by that. Yeah. Didn't think they, they did that kind of uh, alcohol out there in France. Yeah, surprising, isn't it? Yeah. The thing is, when you go out there, like, you just see what's commercially mm, popular, don't you? Probably, yeah. Guess, you know. I can, and also, these are... Maybe, I'm wondering if, like, because these are all small mm. breweries, aren't they? I'm assuming mm. these are all small breweries. Mm. Maybe they've, like... Maybe it was just like that. Maybe it was just the the pale lager kind of beers, that, and they've yeah. like maybe seen some English porter and and stouts. So, oh, we like this. We're yeah. gonna make our own one because yeah. Guinness goes all over the world, doesn't it? So yeah. they might have gone, oh yeah, this Guinness is all right. I reckon we could do our own version of this. Yeah, this is gonna be. I reckon this is when you come off the blinking piste and you want to get pieced, basically. Yeah. You know, you've had a fuck. You're, you're cold. Yeah. You've had a fucking cold day. Your muscles are aching, this is and this is gonna this is gonna provide like a. a Awesome nightcap. This is gonna get you off to fucking sleep, no problem. Oh. It's gonna, it's gonna have some anaesthetic for all your aching muscles. I think you, you know? can put this on your hands around your <laughs> muscles. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell. Liniment. It's alcohol, isn't it? Good for you. Good for yeah. your muscles. Holy moly! That was quite something. Oh yeah. I'm gonna rinse this again because that was. Yeah, the flavour's gonna fucking yeah, well come out in the other one. Yeah. Oh, that is something else, isn't it? Oh, I enjoyed. I, I enjoyed it in a kind of like yeah, so this masochistic way. way. Yeah. Oh. Mm, I've got that. Let's go. Let's be fucking perverse. Yeah. And have this, have I still this... got the taste in my mouth. Yeah, yeah. No, it's yeah. lingering. Oh, wow. That was. I don't know. It was so intense. Have a, have a bacon, uh, yeah. Have one of your barbecues. It was so it. intense. It's like hard to say if it was nice or not. It was. I saw it I, free. I enjoyed. I, I'm glad I had it, and it's certainly going to be memorable. It's going to be one. Do you remember that time we had that fucking really strong? Oh yeah, that fucking. I can still taste it now. <laughs> that's that's the most brutal, yeah. strongest beer I've had in beer fifty two for sure. Mm. What? <laughs> And now we're going to have a fucking lager. Yeah, this is another freebie, <laughs> wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hellas or Hell's Lager? Yeah, I think it might be Hellas, I don't know. But 4.8? Basically, um, I, I found out that 90% of lagers are Pilsner. Okay. And about 10% are Hellas. Oh. So, yeah. I don't know what the difference is. It's right. probably something to do with the yeast, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Gypsy Hill mm-hmm. Brewery. Gypsy Hill was born from family. We brew quality, uncompromised beers. We're a dedicated team who look for that same quality in our lives. Mm. We use our passion for beer to live a better life, and we want the same for you. 
Oh, thank you. This is Hunter, an uncompromised lager. All premium malts, all noble hops, mm. conditioned for 40 days, unfiltered. That's a long time. Light bitterness, spicy, bready, and Moorish. Cool. Goes well with swells and big breaks. What? No you idea. Read that right? Yeah. Okay. I was some big big breasts. Yeah. Swollen big breasts. Yeah, everything goes well no, with big weird, breasts, though, isn't it? Swells and breaks, isn't that turns through the sea? What? Like a swelling wave and, right. and breaking. Oh, breaks the waves, maybe. maybe. I don't know, it's weird. I have no idea what that's all about. Is, is he on the sea? Oh, maybe, yeah, look, look behind him, maybe there's yeah, some maybe. mountain, maybe there's yeah. birds there, maybe he's at the sea. Yeah, there you go then, there you go. This is Simon, our head brewer. He yeah. likes beaches and wild, windy days. Oh, there you go. Fuck me, why didn't I just read that last line yeah. before you <laughs> try to work it out from the yeah. picture? Right, nothing Brilliant. you can't have. Oh, yeah, well, life is always all right. Water, barley, hops, yeast. To be honest, I mean, as far as um, craft lager goes, I don't mind craft lager, you know, it's just, it's, it's all right. Not as shitty as... Nah, normal bog standard stuff, you know. Can I give this lid a bit more? Right. Why? Because it's, you know, it's a little bit dusty. Oh, I mean, it's, it was one there for a it's while, perfectionist. Now, nah, you know, you've been sitting there, haven't you? Because you obviously yeah. didn't can, you want to sell it. So I think it's got a bit of dust on it. We don't want to put dust in there. We don't want dust on it. We don't pour dirt into our glasses, do we? That last beer has got me a little bit drunk. I can feel it. Now. I can feel it. Yeah. Can you one. feel it? Can oh, you feel it? I can. <laughs> fucking hell, cider, Jesus cider, then a stout, then a fucking lager. What kind of what kind of fools are we? Yeah, I don't know. We're not even halfway through, are we? Uh, oh shit, no, we're not, are we? We're halfway through. One, two, three, four. And then oh, we're no. no, four. Oh, no, four. This is the fifth one. Yeah. No, it's not even the fifth one because yeah. this is the fucking guest got one. Yeah, so we've got four more after this. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, that's good. <laughs> Typical lager looking anyway. Yeah. Clear, a little bit of head. Mm. Seems like quite a lot of this can. Mm. Alright. Okay, cool. Take your glass, sir. Yeah. That's Simon, by the way, in case everyone was wondering yeah. to know what Simon Big looked like. Big thank you to that shop. Yeah. By the way, for giving us this. Stone, uh, Stones. Thing. Yeah. So yeah, market awesome. in Leighton Stone. Nice couple yeah. in there. Yeah. Always friendly. And they're starting to turn the place more into a beer shop than yeah, a food they're shop. Some which is extra cool. wine in the center, yeah. haven't they? Yeah, not much smell. Yeah. Doesn't even taste that much of lager, to be honest. You don't think taste, so? No, it's not got that funny lager taste. But may, maybe it's because it's not a pilsner. Cause well, my first thought, it wasn't, it wasn't like a, that lagery taste. And usually that comes with a kind of aftertaste. I, I think the first couple of, like of mouthfuls have been getting rid of the imperial mm. stout flavour mm. and still dwelling. <laughs> yeah, but I swill it round a bit. Mm. Now, if I drank this, I wouldn't think it was a lager. I think it was some sort of craft light ale or something. It even tastes a little bit fruity. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. It hasn't really. It hasn't got, got that fun. You know, we, we don't like that funny lager yeah, aftertaste. Yeah, thing. a little twang that you yeah. get quite often with it. Yeah. And um, it's not bad actually. No, it's all right. Like you say, not it could bad. possibly be like a mm. like a light ale, couldn't it? A very light yeah. ale. Yeah. And like sometimes they've got like an insipid kind even of. Even slightly cloudy, which yeah. is like, like really um, like a drink that's that light. They probably think that's off or something. You know? mm. Not too bad. Not too no. bad. Yeah. Well, to say, two point five. Yeah. I go for a three. I'm yeah. Not, I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure you, you, you'd pound this drink with you overnight, really. No, but, it um, for me anyway. Oh. But it's not objectionable. Mm. No. It's not it hasn't got a whole really horrible twang to it. No. 
But at the same and time, there's not a lot going on, is there? No, not a lot going on, but it's got more flavour than a typical lager. Oh, God, me. yeah, I think yeah, so. yeah. More yeah. flavour than a typical lager. Um, it, it's also not super fizzy like lagers, which are... Mm. That's another thing that puts me off about lager is the fizz. Yeah, it does seem quite flat, doesn't it? Yeah, but I like that. It's, it's lovely but carbonated. Way, it's not perfectly, gonna... perfectly yeah. carbonated. Mm. It's still carbonated, but not not in a brutal way. Overly like, bubbly. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's not bad actually. No. Still feel I've got a stout flavour slightly. Oh, man, I think Obviously, I'm not sure if the flavours in my mouth or in my head that now. Literally, ha <laughs> yeah, it literally has affected my head. <laughs> Just that one fucking bottle. It's unbelievable how, how the tide has turned. <laughs> my God. I can't, can't wait, I can't wait to watch it back. <laughs> beer, actually. We've had some bloody well... Um, we've had some strong stuff. We've had some different stuff as well today, haven't we? Yeah. Bloody hell. Cider. Yeah, yeah we've had cider, we've had a lager, a stout, a good mix a with the bops as well, yeah. The one that wasn't even meant to be in there, yeah. that should have been a good thing. I never worked out how many dark ones there are to light ones in this box. Oh, yeah. Um, got Black Aurora, I think we're saving yeah, for last. yeah. The dark, a single hot dark, dark well. six six point two as well. Three. That is Imperial Stout. Quite a strong Three. batch this week. Yeah, triple. Oh. That's probably why they put the bloody well um that's that that weak one in there that we never got. Mm -hmm. Is that the ten one? Or is that no, the eight one? The mixed case to get these beers. Uh, oh, that's the light case selection. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. We've got the mixed case. Oh, everyone's drinking these with exactly that. Yes, yeah, so that with the juju juice, juice that we yeah. never got. Well, so we got these ones, haven't we? Yeah, we've got the those. Light ones, we've got the Hell Das Blue. Yeah, Hellas. The another Hellas. IPA. So we've got another lager coming up. Yeah, it's not Hell Das Blue. Yeah, no yeah. IPA. Is it lager, is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, not very much. So it, it, three, three dark ones to um, um, five light ones. It's not bad, you know. That's not the light mix. case option. Yeah. Cool. Oh. I, I think oh. I think this is the closest the most possible dangerous one where I might actually have a little nap before the end of it <laughs> I think that 9.5 one if we is... just suddenly collapse and have a nap <laughs> yeah. bear with us yeah. uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be alright we'll, uh, we'll cut that bit out mm. like how strong is this anyway let like me shirt I am the devil's daughter. Do you like my shirt? West Ham United. Oh, I am. I am. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're a bit shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we do, we, you know, we try our best. Well, we don't, actually. <laughs> uh, One of the American guys in the uh, comic community is a West Ham fan. Okay. Cool. Is it Boat? Boat? Is that right? We're like we're the biggest small club in the world. <laughs> and that's why it, what what yeah. it feels like with West Ham. It's it's weird. I still think of us as a small club, but we're not. Um, oh, shit, is one in the door. Oh, four point eight, quite strong. Yeah, oh, not bad, sure. Oh, what right, five point four. Mm -hmm. Nincasi French IPA. This is the same people who did the porter earlier on. Mm -hmm. Medallion Oh yeah. Oh, this yeah. won a prize last year, the Medal de Argent. Right, okay. Um, Fords. Oh, there's a lot of things there. Stutebel for vegan pricks, it says on the side. <laughs> <laughs> pricks! <laughs> yeah. Mm. Water, barley, malt, hop, yeast. There you go. There you go. Acidity is like very low. Douce is about medium. And armatum is very high. It's got a very high armatum. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Whatever that is. Aromes. Yeah. The aromes are agrums. Yes. Fruits bronx. Yes. Notes epices and <laughs> herbaceous. I like your French accent. <laughs> no other info going on? Yeah, I don't understand French, so I don't know what that means. Oh, it's all French? Yeah. Oh, right. What do you think I was like in saying then? You thought I was a twat who could read, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, um, right. it's actually, I like when bottles are French. Yeah, or like, from the fruit blocks, oh, yeah. 
notes, epices, and herbaceous. I'm assuming herbs and spices. Yeah. And um, fruit is black, yeah, black fruit. fruit. Yeah. So berries, maybe. Malts are. That's the aroma. Cairo Munich malts, so German malts. P Pilsen. Yeah. Hublons. Hublons, Mistral, and Aramis. Maybe. Alsace, France. Yeah, it could be yeah. hops, yeah. Right, we got um, <laughs> uh, Ninkasi. Uh, Nin yeah, 5.5, 5.4 5, star. 5.4? 5, 5, 5.4? It's 5.4! We've got to be careful! <laughs> the, uh, That's not even in French. You put a French accent on it, but <laughs> yeah, it's not even in French. <laughs> I'm so affected by that beer. Yeah. A star IPA. Let's show you the little lady that's kind of on the lid. Oh, nice. Created yeah. in Lyon, because it's the same guy, isn't it? Lyon. 97. Oh, it's, it's old. It's Lyon. 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 By oh, three, oh, oh. <laughs> by three grad, graduate, <laughs> fresh out of university, Ninkasi was one of the pioneers of craft uh. beer movement in France. But that's early when you think 97, isn't it? The yeah. production site is now located in the old textile mill in Tarare, or Tarar, not sure, mm. where the water is known for its purity and softness, making it ideal for brewing. Mm. A dis distillery was installed in 2015, and then Cassie now also produces, produces its own single malt whiskey, oh. gin and vodka. Ooh, wow. Taste and notes. Ninkasi French IPA has malted body brewed with 100% French ingredients. It's first hits. The <laughs> it's probably got garlic in it and then fucking yeah. onions in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the Only cliche. Only joking, yeah. French people. The stereotype types, you know. Cliche? That's French word yeah. itself, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> in croissants. I don't think that's fucking. It first hits, <laughs> hits the mouth with powerful fruitness mm. and delivers a delicate bitterness. The beer style inspired by the traditional power owls and revisited with hops grown in. Alsace, 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 Alsace France. Yeah. How do you know? Because the Alsace Lorraine was two areas on the borders of France and Germany, and there was always warring over the Alsace Lorraine area. It's so. smarter than you fucking think. <laughs> Hoppy is four, bitter is four, malty. And I think you mean quatre. <laughs> right, yeah. Malty and fruit is three, uh, floral is two, sweet and smooth is two, and sour is one. So let's, have a, let's have a smell. So it's probably going to be a bit of a hot fest. We've actually got something that's on the sour list. Wow. No, only one. Yeah, it's but we've not had nice. anything. For about three weeks, we've not had anything. We've had anything, any amount of sour. Yeah, but... Uh, no, uh, but still, it's a, you know, it's, it's an different. Mm -mm. I was going to say earlier, when I was just thinking, um, um, what I like about these beer 52s and what we're doing is we're having an education. We're learning that these yeah. other countries have got beers that you wouldn't expect them yeah, to have. Yeah, especially France. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I've never, it's all fucking... And they're old as well. Yeah, they've been seven. for a while, yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's a good thing that this, mm. like, a, you know, new tradition almost of brewing different beers in different countries, mm. like in smaller... Yeah, rather than multi-produced fucking... Yeah. That's the thing, all the we love you know, breweries have all become fucking multiple, like yeah. multinational companies, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. You know, and it's all fucking... It's um, very uniform. They're fucking, yeah. you know... It's all fucking, if they could get it all done by robots, they fucking would do these big corporations. It's good that all these small breweries mm. are doing their own thing, making beer how they mm. like it, experimenting, bringing back old recipes that, you know, that haven't been used for ages, that kind of thing. It's fucking... Good stuff. What I love about um, uh, something else I um, was really cool to find out with Mad Screw or is um, I don't know, let's taste it. Oh, not what I expected actually. No. It's not that hoppy at all. No, it's not hoppy at all. Hoppy is four. It's is not. It? It's hoppy not, is four. It's not. We don't know what hoppy means, man. I swear we don't know what hoppy means. It's got a, like a nice caramel. Taste is it's, um, it's quite bitter, but it's really nice. It's the... Maybe I think the, it's because it's got the malty of three as well. It's quite dark, isn't it? Yeah, I think the malty counteracts yeah. slightly the hoppy. Yeah, you know? I can sort of taste the hoppy. I want to say it's, it's a bit of a four. Though. Would you say it was very really bitter? Yeah, I can taste yeah. the bitterness. So it's of the after taste. It's mm. quite a bit bitter. Um, it, uh, yeah, even a bit malty. It's not what I expect from an IPA. You know, no. It's not, you know, it's not like hugely fruity. Or... No. You talked about a, a, no. a big fruity hit when you first put it in your mouth, didn't it? 
Yeah, Did I say that really, powerful yeah, fruitness? Yeah, not really. No, I'm not getting... Caramel more than anything. I won't say I'm getting caramel though, but I'm mm. certainly not getting a powerful fruitiness. I'm getting that sort of slightly toffee caramel yeah. taste here. Mm. Tastes more like an ale, in, in a way, than a, what you think of a modern kind of craft beer IPA. Well, it was called Mad Screw, actually have their own borehole when they get the water uh, from no, underground. Both borehole phase. And, 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 it's, <laughs> and it's like higher quality water yeah. than and like normal London water. Yeah. One of these was saying that, wasn't it? So yeah. that well, where the softer water is, is well, Yorkshire ideal soft for um, that. Samuel Taylor, we yeah. every time we drink that one, is it talks about they've got their own well, doesn't it? Yeah. Like you oh, can, I you can. What, Ooh la la! I found this out with Greenwich as well. You can basically create your own water with, um, when you get some scientists in. They can take chemicals out. Yeah, they can take chemicals out. Put chemicals you create in. your own water. You maybe have yeah. to dock the water. That's the, dock the water. Create your own style it. of water. Right, yeah, yeah. So you can have. Uh, you don't go. Oh, when water yeah, appears. Walk and water style. Yeah. I create water. So basically, uh, they put things in it to get rid of whatever minerals. Well, they're like lucky. Or... Like uh, London water is a bit. It's hard water, so it's not great. Mm. Uh, so you can scotchify water. Make scotchify. It, scotchify to make it like a scotch. You can Yorkshire water. It's just basically uh, chemicals. Yeah, or really minerals. Yeah, chemicals. yeah minerals. Because like, uh, London water is heavy with the chlorine. Yeah, because I don't. Yeah, yes. Like we talk about hard water, soft water. It's like what the hell? Mm. Oh, you got to be a chemist to understand all these kind of concepts. But like and you say, they, they can they do have, things yeah. with it. But they got their own ball. That's it. I had an excellent water. idea. Yeah. From next month, mm -hmm. screw the beer show, we're going to have a water review show. Yeah. We're going to line up ten different types of water. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, not no, I think about it. I'm not too keen on that idea. No. <laughs> water, guys. But my, beer, beer is 90% water. Mm. But so are we. Mm. Human beings are 90% water. So, I think we're around 70% water. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, we are basically, yeah. Because I was going to say, beer is my brother, oh. beer is my friend. <laughs> it is the same as in water. No, you're probably right. <laughs> it's quite nice, it's, it's yeah. alright, it's alright. It's alright. Different for an IPA, not what I expected. Yeah. Um, still a little bit, mm, oh, okay. I'll probably score it at three. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe two and a half, three, yeah, uh, I think. I don't know, I'm not too sure how much... It's not heavy, I'll be. No. It just puts you off. It's just hoppy though, isn't it? But it doesn't... Yeah. I think the mortiness must carry away from the hoppiness. Mm. But it's kind of like... Mm. I don't know. If I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's got a slight depth to it that I quite like. Yeah. It's like a slight darkness to it. I'm not too sure if I'd like another pint though. That's the yeah, thing. yeah, I'm sort of agreeing with you. Yeah, I want to keep drinking it. Probably because it's quite not. weird, isn't it? It's quite, it's quite it's different. In a way, it's yeah, it's like it's it's a, it's a bit of it's not any it's not any one thing, is it? Yeah, it, it's it, kind of a little bit like a, it's a, like, a little, yeah, yeah, little yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange like middle ground between an ale and an IPA. Yes, yeah. sort of like a strange little in between. Yeah. But interesting though, interesting yeah. too, and definitely like on its own, you wouldn't sort of lump it in with a lot of other ones. And oh, it's just, yeah. it's just the same as that, but it's you know, it's kind of like individual, Ooh. isn't it? It's kind of like an yeah. individual individuality to it. Oh. Of course, this all may also also may be the I thought I just said the same word three times. This may also be the the build up of uh, alcoholness, alcohol, alcoholicness that's um, making it hard to think. <laughs> that batch fifty has fucked us up. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was alright until I had that taste buds and Obviously. brain. Obviously, brain. It's done for me, brain oh, and man. taste buds. I thought, oh, it's 9.5, I'm all right, and now, now I'm like, mm. ah, yeah. Yeah, now I can feel what that done to me. <laughs> it's all good. That's oh, man. For. That's what uh, we're here for. I'm just trying to think of what the scores were. Yeah. 
No, it would be good. I think I... Yeah, I'm, I'm more or less know where... I always know where I am. Mm. I always know where I am. I think today... I, I don't like to... I like to go... Not line it up. I like to go yeah. and think, oh, yeah, that bit, yeah. you know, find it at the end. To be honest, today, I would say it's going to be harder to find a bottom three than it's going to be to find a top three. Possibly. You know what Possibly. I mean? Possibly. Because at the moment, there's only one that stands out, and it's uh, only one that I would say that's in the bottom three. You know? Yeah, I think we both agree with that. Yeah. Let's hope this next one's shit, so it'll be easier to find the bottom three. Yeah. <laughs> no, mm. not really. Wait. Hey, right. Was right here. Supreme Champion Beer, ABK, Hell, Das Blau. Oh, this is German. Yeah. Give me a chance to get my German accent out. Yeah, go on then. Algara Blau Tradition, Site 1308. Traditional Geblaut aus Feinstein Hoppen and Bestem Wasser. Are you thinking German? Is it all German? Yeah, I think oh, so. Okay. Oh, carry on. I'm guessing carry German. That's my, on. I'm using my Italian accent, but I, yeah. I, I think it's German. Carry on. Das Blau ist ein Ecker Klassiker des Alugas. Es ist mild gehopft, ein Gönnen, stiffig und süß, sackenfart. Gebracht nach dem Bayerischen Bereitheit gehotz von 1516. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how close you are to actual German, right? If Probably nowhere fucking near it. I had yeah. in the fart for fucking for comedy effect. Yeah. I think it was something else. Also, it's a little bit hard to read. No English song at all, no? No. Cool. This is like nice no. for vegans. Fucking them in the ass rock. Fucking the ass rock. You fucker. <laughs> Guess what? It's from Germany. It's a Munich Ellis again. Yeah. Oh, dear. Right. Buy a rich Don't. beer. Buy a rich. Is okay. that buy a Munich maybe or... It's the ABK Brewery, sitting at the base of the Alps, surrounded by woods in the medieval town of Kaifbären. Kaifbären? Yeah, Bavaria. Hmm. Dating back to 1308. Um, that guy at Mad School was saying that some of the German beers, certainly Bavaria, are just like the fucking top. Oh, The story. way they do it, yeah. it's like the top quality. Tradition. <coughs> yeah. German, Germany's much fucking... They've been doing top their beer. Yeah. A, lot of the, a lot of the rules that they have in Germany for, for beers, a lot of our beers don't meet up to them, do they? Because yeah. they've got much yeah. more got purity kind of, yeah. you know, traditional dating back, stuff. Dating back to 1308, the ABK Brewery, what? Uh, is renowned for its superb beers. ABK uses the finest local, locally grown hops and grains from the same local farms they have been using since 1308. You know. That's amazing. Covered with pure water from beneath the brewery cellars. It's got it's got the ingredients in three different languages. One of them is not English. Ah. So we've got Vasa, good smouts and hopfen. Yeah. Or we've got aqua, malta de oso and lupolo. Or we've got agra, malta de sabada and lickbub. Look now, lupolo. <laughs> yeah. 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 Water. I'm guessing water. Water. Water malts and hops, I think. I think water malts yeah. and hops. Light golden with a soft sweet aroma and floral hot notes that tastes full bodied grain and lots of green apple. Ooh. Okay. And light but persistent hints of pine and herbs with a slightly bitterness that persists through, through to the finish. You know, we're not going to taste any of them because we Probably never, not. When it tells you you're going to get all them, it normally is nothing normally, like it. It normally isn't. Smooth quite is. Quite a nice lid. I quite like that lid. That's oh, nice, yeah. Smooth is five. Ooh. Um, bitter, hoppy, malty, and floral, all four. Okay. Uh, hey, three. Three, sorry, you twat. Can't even count. Sweetened fruit is one, and sour is naught. Does it say it's a lager? Yeah, it's a Hellas lager. Where does it say lager on there? Well, it's, it's a Munich Hellas. Hellas, Hellas. So Hellas. Yeah, that's always yeah. a lager, you reckon? Yeah. But, that, but it's not really a lager, though, is it? No, it's they a don't have high lager, quality yeah. German beer. Yeah. yeah. We think of it as lager because it's yeah. normally light. I'm not sure if it, what the fucking rules are to make something a lager or make something else. It's just the, I, I, I just was, the hops it, you're saying. No, I, I think it was it's the, the yeast. Was, oh, I think right, it's the yeast. yeast. 
I thought it was something to do with the way it was brewed as well, like some, you know. I don't think so, but uh, hey, I'm I'm no expert. Yeah, we're I, getting there. It's only the, we're, not even, we're not even on double figures for shows yet. So yeah. by the time we get to the beer guys 100, we're gonna know absolutely fucking everything there is to know about beer. Yeah. We're no, gonna... I believe it's the yeast because you use a diff, uh, type of yeast for lager. Right. And then again, you know, uh, the malts are important as well because you're not going to put supreme champion beer since 1308. 1308, that is some that, fucking history, isn't it? 1308. Yeah, that, that's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm, it's better be very, good. Very it's light. Be good. Very light. Very lagery looking. Mm. Uh, do you get anything from the smell? No. No, not me. It's got that um, very German grain sort of taste to it. It, it, it's a mm. lager, but Ooh. but not in a sort of horrible way. No. Mm. It's got a little off mm. the twang, which is not like anything we've ever had before. I don't think it's got that. It's quite a quick. It's quite, got that grain, like that mm. barley yeah, sort of taste. Yeah, to it. The yeah, grain. You can taste yeah. the grain. I think that's what it is. It's a barley, yeah. little barley mm. aftertaste, maybe. Yeah, it's actually uh, pretty good, actually, as it goes. <laughs> Wow, this is this this week's going to be really hard to score. Yeah. What I like about this week is they've all been fucking different. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not been two cans where we can say, yeah, not much between them Super two. Super different. Because that was a little bit more hoppy than that one. Yeah. This one's got a, a very unique little after twang, which is mm. not unpleasant. And like yeah. you say, it's like a like a maybe a barley kind of. Um, uh, flavour to it. I reckon you I'm so glad right this is uh, a nice beer actually because it, it, they seem like the the history and the yeah. work they did. Yeah. I was really uh, hoping it was going to be yeah. good, you know. It'd be, if they'd been brewed since 1308 and it tasted yeah. like fucking piss, it'd be like, mm. oh god, why the fuck didn't they quit yeah. in 1309? Five percent <laughs> as well, so. And they use their own water as well. It seems to be like. Um, the quality beer seems to be the ones that, that poor hold their own water, you know. <laughs> Can't hurt, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Good. I wonder if we would say that's the German flavour. Is that like a... A lot of the German beers maybe have a similar kind of taste. Yeah. It's certainly not like a fucking... Well, we... You know, I mean, no, it's not a lager, it's a beer. But it's not like the, the horrible fucking... Pissy kind of lager. Like Foster's, kind of, is it? Yeah. yeah. You that like I don't know. Yeah. This is quite a maybe a touch of malt in it as well. Malty malty bar. Again, it's not it's not fizzy, is it? Mm. It's naturally carbonated. It, it mm. yeah, it's fucking that's the thing that gets me about modern like popular lagers, it's just fucking like fizzy, it does my head in. Yeah. Fizzy and super cold, isn't they? Yeah. I think they're so cold that they fucking freeze your taste buds. You don't taste how fucking boring yeah. they are. No, that's no, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's not like um, kicking your ass with flavour, is no, it? No, but it's, it's, it's got it's good though. It's pleasant. I say it's quite yeah. pleasant. And I mean, I'm not really a lager. Well, I mean, there's not a fucking lager. It's a German, but I'm not really like yeah. a light beery yeah, kind of guy. Yeah. I tell you what, I reckon my dad would like this. I fucking yeah, yeah. My dad, my dad loves his German beer, and I reckon yeah. he'd, oh, he'd like this. I reckon he'd love this one. Yeah. Probably knows everything about it. <laughs> no, there's too many yeah. people to know everything about it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to be unprofessional in a bit. You're pissed. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Never mind. I'll just sit here and stare at the camera. <gasps> What do I'll, I do? I'll, I'll follow you in there with a the camera so everyone can, can hear you taking a piss break. Mm. <laughs> or maybe I try and pause it. I remember like, I think one time I closed the, the thing so it was just a black screen. And yeah. then I forgot to fucking well get rid of that bit where it was a black screen. Ah. So it was just like like two minutes of black screen. Yeah. And you, go, you, you finished your piss yet, yeah, all right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it wasn't it wasn't our most professional mm. uh, of editing moments. Yeah, but no one seemed to mind. <laughs> we had to get about ten people watch it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. That juju juice. It's mm. that DDH again. Did we work out what the hell that was? I remember we had no, that on another show. No. DDH session IPA. I don't know. I am thinking of getting a um a decent webcam. 
Now maybe we could do these. I think is that not decent? No, 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 but this is a this is a video camera, not a webcam. I want oh, to think about doing it live. Oh, right, webcam. Like, maybe camera on actually being there on a Friday night and doing it live and having people in chat. Like, yeah. maybe we can interact with people while we're drinking. Yeah, but, you know, are you weren't going to come in or what? Hey? Is anyone going to come in on chat, though? Well, we get a few people in chat, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, actually, sometimes live do, stuff yeah. does seem we to do. get more people, but, yeah, it's yeah. worth a try anyway. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Do you, need, you have to have a webcam for that, do you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I've got a built-in camera on my laptop, but it's a bit shit. Mm. Mm. A bit dark, you know? My newer... <coughs> my newer laptop... <coughs> the camp, the uh, microphone keeps breaking up. So I have yeah. to use a separate microphone. I've got my separate microphone, it's all right. Mm. But we'll see. Yeah. <sighs> If we do it live, we've got loads of people sending us money via Super Chat, and then we're going, oh, this is so awesome and fun. Super Chat. And I'll Super Chat you <laughs> for a hundred dollars. That kind of bollocks. But it probably won't work, but... Yeah, give us your money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not telling you. Free. <laughs> if you want to go piss, you'll stay out, because I'm going to yeah. go as well now. Yeah. See thinking about it. We both need to... Take a piss break. Well, we both need money as well, don't yeah. we? Yeah, <laughs> only that at all, really. Yeah. I'm first. <laughs> it's I think flame I'm, over his comics. Just to be on the safe side, I'm actually going to pause it, actually. I'm going to oh. stop it. I'm going to stop it. Okay. I'm going to start again after we both had a wee. Oh, okay. Okay, we're back. We're fully refreshed. Yeah, we had a little drink, didn't we? We, 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 like, we had a couple of beers before we come back for a... Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we didn't really. Right, so we've got two more left. <coughs> two more. Cool. Two more. We have this Zoe Session Ooh, IPA now. Mad cover. Bevog Brauhaus Brewery. Okay. It's the one with the awesome Austria. dragon. Austria. Austria. The awesome Austria. dragon on it. So that means I've got to do my Austrian accent rather than my rather than my German accent. Yeah, similar thing. <laughs> similar five. <laughs> yeah, I know. Doesn't say an awful lot about it, really. No? Brauhaus. I've got Austria. loads here. Bad Ratkersberg. Uh, ingredients. Water, Borg, Malty, it says Morse, I suppose. Mm. Uh, Flocons, Davion. Oh, it's not French. No, I think because Austria have French and German speakers, didn't they? Yeah. I should think of them as other sorts of I think so, anyway. No, I can't see anything that I can actually read. No. Okay, I've got lots here. It's 4.3. 4.3, I've only find that. Star Wars Session IPA from Austria. Um, Bevog Brauhaus. 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 <laughs> Bevog In the Brewery. middle of our street, Brauhaus. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Brewery is the fruit of inquisitiveness. Inquisitiveness. In, 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 inquisitiveness. Inquisitiveness. <laughs> inquisitiveness, yeah. Inquisitiveness. Inquis I'm not continuing until I say it. <laughs> inquisitiveness. 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 What? Inquis. Inquis. Itiv. Itivness. Inquisitiveness. Do you know what it means? I don't know the word, I just can't oh, okay. say it. If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk, I can't say it. Inquisitive. Inquisitive, it's not quiver, it's quiz. Quiz. Inquis Inquisitiveness. Inqui Inquisitiveness. 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 We're there. And insp <laughs> inspiration, enthusiasm, love, and zeal. Zeal. Its core line is made up of classic craft beer styles, brewed with passion and utmost care for detail. It also brews a number of special limited beers. Its Who Cares editions, which aim to push the brewing experience to another dimension with wild and crazy ideas. Mm. All of the above. Uh, has been confirmed by numerous awards and prizes, and above all, by the many happy beer drinkers. Hmm. Oh, hoppy as fuck. Toasting, yeah, tasting mm. notes. Zoo? Zo. Zo, you reckon? Yeah. It'd be too it, over zoo, wouldn't it? Yeah, it wouldn't. Zo is a playful session IPA with distinctive tropical citrus Just and grapefruit the character. The soft malt backbone combined with oatmeal gives it a finely balanced body. 
Mm. Huge amounts of fruity American and Austra Austri no, no? Australian, yeah, Australian, Australian yeah. hops turn a beer into a magnificent hot party. I'm not sure we're into hot mm, parties, no, are we? No. Yeah, with amazing balanced bitterness and slim alcohol level. Okay, I like the can. Hoppy is four. Yeah. Uh, bitter, smooth. I oh, know fruit is oh, four. Yeah. So hoppy and fruit is four. Four. Bitter, smooth, floral is three. Sweet, malty is one, and sour is naught. Um, it smells nice and fresh. Inquisitiveness. I can. I can do it now. <laughs> I can do it now. <laughs> Only on the tenth attempt. Well yeah, done, well Eric. I'm Eric. proud of you. <laughs> Fucking junk twat. <laughs> Smells really nice. Very fruity. Let's go in. Very light. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Hasn't got that nasty hoppy twang that we we we. Yeah, it's we not think as was the uh, five point, was no. it? No. Yeah. It sort of makes me think that hops is a flavour rather than a, than a, a you know, we, we equate hoppiness to this like really kind of bitter, twangy aftertaste. Yeah. But I think it's not necessarily that. I think that hops mm. is, oh, fuck knows. <laughs> I, I thought I had an idea for a second. I thought I had a fucking, the meaning of life. What? <laughs> It's like, you know, you, you know, you, the, we know in, it though. We back know in the day it. when you used to smoke pot, and it's yeah. like you, for a second, when you're having a piss, you suddenly think you know the meaning of life, the universe, yeah. and everything. And then two seconds later, you forgot what the fuck it was, but it's something to do with cheese. And <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was just like there with, with this beer. Yeah. Hoppiness is. That's, is, that's another thing Mad School were talking about was um, they don't just throw their hops in at one point, they, they'll pull it in at different points mm. of the brewing process. And the yeast, like they, they reckon that most people, when they throw yeast in, it's just, oh, I'll just throw yeast in. But for them, it's like a massive, important thing. Yeah. To, uh, they've got to have the correct yeast, put in at the right time, and yeah, pretty mad. Well, we, like, we had the, like, the dry hops, which we, we realised was a different time putting hops in. Yeah, different times. I mean, yeah. it adds, I suppose it adds different character to the actual... Yeah. It's like magic, it's like magic, isn't it, really? It's just like fucking... Alchemy, what you Yeah, yeah, like, alchemy, yeah. that's it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Still on the, the hoppy end, isn't it? But yeah, but it's not a really objectionable hoppiness, nah, no. though, is it? Not with the, the, you know, that twang that we always mm. think that's being hoppiness. Mm. To be honest, I was, I was kind of hoping this was going to be horrible. So yeah. we could throw it in the bottom three and go, for thank, thank fuck we've got another one for the bottom three. Still, but might, be, still might be there. <laughs> it may be. Maybe, we'll see. But it's not... Yeah. You know what I mean? If if oh. if this ended up being like the only one in a bar, I'd be like, oh fuck it. I might I might stretch mm. the two. It's still good though. Yeah. I it's... like it. It's nice, tasty. Yeah. Fruity. Oh. Mm. It just hasn't got that, that that really nasty aftertaste that no. that I get tired of really quickly, you know? Yeah. I, mean, I think I'd probably get tired of it after a I don't know. And there's a big couple. sea monster on the cover. That is a happy sea monster yeah. as well. That's a beautiful happy sea monster. Oh, it's, you'd have I want to give pet. that sea monster a hug. Yeah, you'd have that as a pet. It'd probably eat yeah. It's probably deceptive actually. It's probably yeah. tending, it probably looks cute to, to make people go up and hug it. Anyway, it's like, how can I get to eat fat English bastards? I know, if I look all happy and, and smiley and yeah. they're drunk, they come up and give me a hug. I can and eat them eat motherfuckers. Them. Yeah. I can eat them good. <laughs> the only problem is it's more fat than flesh. We're yeah. not the best. Yeah, I'm sure much the won't care. And you'll probably get yeah. a little buzz out of the, the beer that you've drunk oh. as well. Mm. You'll have a little, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. that fucking strong motherfucking yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <clears throat> Fuck me. Um, did we even score that hell? I can't remember. No. I think we did. Didn't I have to be? Yeah, uh, uh, 3.5. Yeah. Almost 4. I think it was a really high quality beer. I'm going 3, 3.5 as usual. Yeah. I think you should just give your score and automatically assume that I'm half a, half a score. Half a, back. <laughs> yeah, every time. Half a score back. 
Yeah. It's definitely. weird. The, the, the weird thing is, though, I don't wait for him to tell his score before I decide my score. I'm thinking to myself, 3, 3.5, and he says, 3.54, and I think, yeah. like, I think that's fucking... <laughs> you should go first. <laughs> and then, yeah. Yeah. Well, next one, I go first, and see yeah. if, just to see if, we, just to test it. Maybe I'm psychic, and I'm miss... picking up your scores, and then automatically giving it half point lower. Have we miss any of the others, score-wise? No. Mm -hmm. No, we, we did the others. But even the, even the one that I'm saying percent. was definitely in the bottom uh, three mm. wasn't that fucking terrible. Mm. I don't think no, it was no, not terrible. It, but compared it, to everything else, it was yeah. a bit boring and like, oh, that typical yeah. kind of twangy, I know this beer, though. Hoppy. I already knew this yeah. beer, so I knew it was going to be that kind of um, style. Mm. Hackney Violet Alps. Mm. Hackney Violet Alps, yeah. People skiing down their street. Mm. <laughs> Tobogganing through Clapton. Mm. <laughs> That's funny they made that mistake. Good on them. That might be in the next month's thing, you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, it's on the shelf next to it. Yeah. But don't forget, though, the official line is that we're very, very upset. Mm. Very annoyed that we got this way in our box. Yeah. And we think that beer we're 52... We're on some juju juice. We think, no, no, fuck that. It says a quite big juju juice, 2.8. Oh, yeah. Juice. But <laughs> something's different, something nice. Yeah. <laughs> so there's some of that chocolate and nutty stout that we've had before. Yeah. You know, by way of recompense, yeah? Yeah. We demand it. Yeah. Out to hurt my hand. Because it, because it's a disgusting mistake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's reprehensible. Yeah. We should take your company to court. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope we get away with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know. <laughs> the beer courts. No, I'm, I'm cool. two thirds of the way through it. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm still not getting a, a, the, the twang hasn't been mm. cumulative. I'm not quite. It's up. not bad, is it? No, it's yeah, not bad at it's all. It's drinkable. Yeah, for sure. I'm almost. Right. I'm almost. I mean, obviously, I've had a few drinks already, and the alcohol is telling. But I'm almost, almost enjoying it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Scores a, a 3.5 for me, I think. Oh, shit, I forgot. I should have... No, you we were supposed to go we first. Uh, we already, I thought it was the uh, next one I was going to score first. Of course, we already scored this one, didn't we? Well, what was your score? Well, three. Oh, obviously. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> still higher. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I think this one has even grown on me a little bit. Oh. So, um, I think it's the cumulative drunkenness. We'll take these t out of the uh, B52 countdown. No, we'll do it all together. Yeah. Okay. This actually mentions on the side, and you can drink it from the can, it actually says yeah. on the top. Might as well do it all together. We've got them all here now. Mm. I mean, because we're not like... Um, cool. Yeah, why not? Beer 52 are paying yeah. us to, to score. So we just happen to be drinking 10 beers, of which eight yeah. of them are beer 52. Yeah. It's not like people... Because it's not like people can go, Oh, I like their review. I'm going to get that beer 52 now. It's already gone. You'll get next month's beers. You won't get this month's beers. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't, you know... I don't think it makes a difference. We, we I think we should put them in, in mm. the mix. Even though I haven't got a fucking clue what any of them taste like now. I just thought I was going to get a notepad, didn't I, and start writing notes. No, that's, it's, just, that's just whimps and poses. It's part of the fun. Whimps and fun. poses, doing that to, kind of thing. Just trying to remember the beers is part of the fun. Yeah. Please, no, I remember. I'm, I'm this good. This is the last one now, man. Uh, I think this is the last yeah, one. Quite, quite upsetting. Well, you've only got 2.8 French beers in there. Maybe we could have that uh, one. No. Yeah. All right, here we go. Last one. Oh no! What? It's not not suitable. No, I'm joking. Oh, yeah, it's lag. <laughs> Pelican Black Aurora Dark Ale, six point two percent. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Imported mm. by B Fifty Two UK. It's a Slovenian one. Yeah. Uh, let's put on my best Slovenian accent. Go on then. Black Aurora Tunip Ziskus Gusgunis Vemlichkli. I'm just fucking making it as I go along now. Do it though. It's funny. I was trying. Right. Black Aurora, Jitemo Piva, Jjomji, Fermatachli, Vergezo is Osnivin. Sevastnin, Hubristic and Vod, Slada, Sloven, Skiga, Hemjila, Stilian, Aurora in Kavasa. 
Nefritriano, Montri, Nespastriano, Pivos de Zorino, Vistes Grinca. Okay, that's enough, that's enough of that. <laughs> oh, look, it's English here. Yeah? Oh, right, oh, great. Go on then. Black Aurora is top fermented ale brewed from ingredients. Uh, Hebel oh, Water, so. yeah. Malt, Single Slovenian Hop, Styrian Aurora and Yeast. Bottle conditioned, unfiltered, cloudy, and unpasteurized. Store in cold and dark place. Keep upright and pour gently if you if you prefer less yeast sediment. Oh. And it says very importantly. Oh, yeah. And there's an address in Slovenia. Okay, we, we um, it's six point two. <laughs> it's six point two. It's a single hot dark ale. Six point two is yeah. good for you. Oh, no. It's dark, smooth body with chocolate and coffee notes, <coughs> rounded with fine bitterness of Shrian Aurora. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, Stuxinkmi! <laughs> noble Slovene hop variety. I'm making up my own Slovenian yeah. word now. Um, very drinkable dark ale. Stupibrunna! <laughs> Awarded best in show at Central European Craft Beer Conference in Budapest. Budapest. Smooth is five, malty is four, sweet is three, floral is two, bitter is one, and hoppy, sour, and fruit is naught. So we're talking massive, uh, smooth, and malty and sweet. I'm quite lucky the look of it. It's got a mm. nice head oh. come, comes frothing up when I poured it. Yeah. Nice and dark. We always uh, finish with a stout, don't we? Yeah, we would like to finish on a high, yeah. don't we? Yeah. Yeah. We prefer the dark ones. We do. I think it'd be a bit, I think it'd be a disaster if we finish one. Of For some strange reason, the general public doesn't like dark fools. Yeah. You crazy fools! You crazy fools. Mmm. Yeah. There it is. Feast Happy. your eyes on that dark beauty. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I just snorted it. <laughs> Lo lovely smell. Yeah. Really nice smell. Little hints. Oh, the smell is like right down <laughs> my street. <laughs> yeah. Little hint of chocolate powder or something like that. Oh. Like you... <clears throat> it's quite strong though. Mmm. Mmm. 6.2. Mmm. Mmm. Hop, uh, hoppy, malty, mm. but kind of gentle malty. Oh. Yes, yeah, doesn't taste like six point two. You think? I don't I, think I, so. I think it tastes strong. No, I'm not getting any strength actually. I'm more no. getting a little gentle malty lilt. Is all I'm kind of getting. It's, it's good, let me wash it around a little bit more, and uh, I can taste the strength. It's not a batch fifty. Brutal strength, but it's uh, it's, it's pretty tasty. Hmm. Mm. Oh, I think that's got a light chewiness, a light, a light, a, bit a light. Though? Yeah, but is it official? It's not chewing? a taste mugging. Is it a official chewy? Like yeah, but very, very, mm. very minutely chewy. Oh. It's just got like a little uh, multi lilt to it for, to my mm. to my mind. But I can, yeah. I'm not getting six point two percent strength. For, no, no, I'm not. I'm not catching it. I can tell it's strong. I can tell it's strong. Um, which is not a bad thing. It's, it's nice. Mm. I think. Oh, it's really tasty. Any flavours? Lots of pints in this though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could drink quite a few yeah. pints of this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, I think if it's, it's really good. I think it's very lightly flavoured, to be honest. It's like yeah. you've got a. It's weird. Like, look how dark it is and the head on it. There's mm. not like an awful lot of. Um, cloying maltiness or anything. I'm just. It, to me, it feels. There's a tiny little hint of coffee, maybe. It's yeah, very slightly. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not really getting any like long lasting uh, maltiness in the mouth mm. afterwards or any particular sweetness in the mouth mm. afterwards. It's just. 
Yeah, I think it's one of the. I think it's um, feel quite happy to drink four nice. pints of this. I reckon. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it's really nice beer actually. I mean, it's it's imminently possible really nice. that all the other beers have killed my taste buds for the night. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not getting the real the real picture. Maybe it's going to be oh, man. It's going to be interesting doing a bottom three and top three. Yeah, it's be really interesting. It is going to be tricky, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to go. Oh, no, I'm not going to give you any pointers. All right, right. I'm going to give you my score oh, yeah, for this yeah, now. You go first. I'm going to give you my score for this now, and I'm going to go first. Mm. I am going to go. I think actually I might actually be a half a point higher than you. On this, on this, I'm going four, I think, on this one. Yeah, I'll go along with that. <laughs> it's a four, mm. it's a four. Maybe a 3.5? Ah, oh, you beat me. No, it's, it, it is good. It's no, I was, I was trying to think, right, four, is it 3.5, four, or is it four, 4.5? But I was just thinking, no, it's just a straight four. Mm. Just a straight four. Really fucking, it's weird because it's not like it's like, oh, this is really pleasant. It's just like, this is like, yeah. gen, I, don't know, yeah. I don't know, it's quite a bit. I'm not getting any massive, like, blown out of their tastes that are like, like, um, mugging my taste buds or anything like that. It's just like a light little hint of a coffee hit, little maltiness, tiny bit of chewiness, yeah, nothing, um, prolonged in the palate. You know? Lovely taste though, isn't it? Yeah. But not not right mm. but not a taste mugging, just a nice mm. little gentle malty coffee. Mm. A hint of sweetness, mm. but not prolonged. Mm. I'm not, it doesn't seem to be any like cumulative like sweetness where it gets sicklier as you drink it, you know? No, definitely not. No. no. Maybe it's the smooth. The smoothness is massive, yeah. so maybe the smoothness has yeah. got a lot to do with it. Definitely smooth. And very low bitter as well. Yeah. That's so fair I think enough. a lot maybe of that's the, the flavours, mm. like with the moody flavours, has got a lot to do with bitterness. Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah. It's a strange one. Because, mm. like, you look how dark it is, how strong it is. I was expecting to get a lot more chewiness, a little more flavour on it. But instead it's just, like, um, deceptively uh, light, almost. Like, mm. not... It tastes... I don't know, it doesn't taste like a light one, but it, it doesn't taste either, like, unless you're like, a, like a heavy, dark mm. one, you know? I'm rambling now. Yeah. Well, we've had some brutal beers mm. today. Um... This is still upwards of a, a kind of heavy flavoured, quite heavy beer. If, mm. if you had the pint of this, you'd think, oh, fuck, you know, uh, this is. I think this one for me. Going, but it's, it's I think really this one nice. for me, I'd be like, I drink a pint, I go, oh, that's nice. Mm. And I'll have another one, oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. And then I'll have a third one, I go, oh, fuck me, this is 6.5. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fucked. Yeah. 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 It's really good. Yeah, it's a nice really one. good. Very nice. But it's weird because it's, cause it's hard not, to pick. It's my not best. nice in the fact that it's like one of them nutty chocolatey ones where we're like, oh, you don't want to finish your last mouthful mm. because it's like it's got like a supreme taste. To me, Do you remember that beer you wanted yeah, to spit yeah. out to taste it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. This so isn't funny. that. This isn't that. This is yeah. just like a, a real fucking mm. capable mm. like beer that you could quite happily drink a good session of. You know, it's without lovely. getting. It's really good. Though. Yeah. Because it's not got overly massive flavours that will end up being mm. annoying after a while. It's just a nice, slightly chewy, slightly coffee, uh, smooth. It's really good. Yeah. It... Oh man. Oh man. I don't know how to uh, to do this. This is this is. I think out of all the beer fifty twos, I think this is going to be the hardest to put in our bottom three and top three. Yeah, quite possibly. Because I've really liked the majority of these beers mm. today. And there was nothing that really staggered yeah. behind, and there was nothing that really yeah. shot up ahead. Like yeah. even choosing the top one might be tricky. Oh man, and it's going to be got hard. Them. Even that. Yeah. And it's going to be interesting to see what you. Uh, I do. know because we've got the lager, we've got the cider in there as well. Yeah. yeah. And they were, they were different tastes because of the fact mm. there was a lager and a cider. They were still 
I feel bad including them. I always think we should just stick with the beer 52s. Well, we've, we've never done it before, but we don't, yeah. I don't think it matters. No. Anyway. Do you want to leave them out? I mean, I'll oh, oh, score care. for that last one. Oh, we for did me, it's a four. I said it for the first. Oh, yeah, four, yeah, yeah. Four, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll go four, yeah. Definitely. Oh, uh, you've got to do it, mate. You've got to do your bottom three and top three. M- maybe, yeah, I'm not sure if it was stretched as far as a 4.5 because there was no, like... Yeah, no. There was no, like, no. flavour that made it go, ooh. Four. It was just a consistent, nice flavour mm. all the way through. It didn't over, uh, didn't overextend its welcome in your in your palate. Mm. It didn't like kick you in the fucking taste buds at all. It was just a nice little taste that um, was nice all the way through the pint. So basically, yeah, and the, it would be would be nice for subsequent pints as well. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure it's your turn to go first this time with your bottom three. Only so I can copy you. <laughs> right. You want to go first or you want me to go first? Bottom three, bottom three. You want me to go first? Got it. Mm. Um, <laughs> mm. Okay, oh. It's tough, isn't it? Mm. I love that first beer that we had. That was great. I kind of forgot it now. Ah. That was good. Um. That was good as well. Mm. Oh my. God. Oh, bloody hell. I know what my bottom is. Yeah. That's in the bottom three. Yeah. But saying that, other months, that might have been middle of the road. Yeah. You know? Because it wasn't terrible. Yeah. Um, kudos to Beer 52. I think this has been one of the best months, actually. I think the beer has been really good this month. I think it's due to our affinity with skiing, because we're so, like, you know... <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, that one. Um, I'm kind of tempted to pick the two that we, um, yeah. we've got as freebies, but kind of yeah. tempted, but... I mean, I don't think you can necessarily hold up cider alongside beer, because it's just a different, completely yeah. different taste, isn't it? Yeah. And then, like, in a different situation, like I say... It wasn't bad, though, was it? No, it was all right. Yeah. Like a barbecue it's that good. would go down a treat. Yeah. And there's no... It's like, looking at all these other ones... They're all good. Yeah, there was They're nothing. There was nothing in there that I was like, yeah, mm. I could take it or leave it. Oh, I got to preferably that, leave it. That was good as well. I can't remember yeah. this now. I'm tempted to put this in my bottom nice. three simply because I can't remember it. It was just a nice. Ale. That was a, an old master brew that was really. Yeah. That's right because it was like we were saying it was like the old um, Belgian Trappist Belgian beer. Trappist beer, but like the Duvel. Yeah. But it was. I think it was nice in the Duvel because yeah, it was good. Well, it didn't have quite such a violent punch yeah, to it. It's a really good start. Damn. I, so didn't, I didn't got... even mind the lager. I know. You have to put... Oh, the... I, I must admit, that's probably the only beer I'm sort of not that keen on. Mm. But, I mean, even, to be honest, even though that was amazing, that was heavy going. Yeah, it was heavy going. Um, but would you put it on the bottom three because of the fact that it was heavy going? Maybe. I, I, I'm, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to influence you, so um, pick your bottom three. I'm, that might not be my bottom three anyway. Um... But... Do you know what? I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to go with the two that we got for free. Yeah. Not because they weren't nice, yeah. but because I think amongst the, the variation of the other ones, a lager and a cider kind of stood out as different. Yeah. You know, I wasn't, my mouth wasn't prepared for a cider tonight yeah. necessarily. It was nice, but I was like, my head's more in the in the beer game, in the in the beer yeah. game. And the lager was all right, but... um. Mm. Yeah, you, know, you, know, so <coughs> you wouldn't see me ordering a lager any time. So yeah, I'm going to go, go for those. But it's not like it's like they're fucking way and... Even the one that was... Mm. It's not like they're way and beyond the blinking... Um, you know what I mean? Like they're massively yeah. behind them at all. In fact, I could, there's an argument that these could be fucking in the middle with... Yeah. You know, with a few of the others. But I'm going to go for them three simply yeah. because of the fact we've got to choose... We've got to choose something. Top three? Top three is the one. Mm. Right, I'm gonna go dark. You know, I'm gonna go dark. Of course. But what order? Mm. I think I'm gonna go the Imperial Stat in third spot. Yeah. Because it was very, very interesting. It was very powerful flavour. Very strong Brutal. alcohol. 
and it was like it was an experience. It's like yeah. oh, it's like it's like going on a roller coaster. I've yeah. ridden the big fucking dipper yeah. or whatever. It's yeah. like I've drunk the batch fifty. Yeah. I've fucking I've You've dared done that it. roller You've coaster. Done it. I've done yeah. it. You know, I, I would do it again, but yeah. fucking not more than one on a fucking night, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm kind of happy we shared it almost. Yeah. It's a lovely label, by the way. I didn't realise it's embossed. Yeah. The little thing is yeah. embossed there. It's a fucking beautiful mm. label. Anyway, uh, second, I'm going to go with a French porter. Yeah. It was lighter, more brown it's really than, than our. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was, and it was like an experience. I mean, we never know. We mm. didn't know fucking French did porter, so it was kind of like a good uh, thing to dis discover that. Mm. And uh, yeah, it was a decent taste to it. I think pretty mm. decent. Five point one. That's pretty yeah. good. And I think the winner for me has got to be the Pelican Black Aurora, which is weird. So the because, one we just had. Right? Yeah, the one yeah, we just it had. Really nice. It was weird because it didn't like mm. bash you over the head with like some strange flavour. It was just like mm. a. Uh, like um, a level playing field, decent flavour, mm. nice uh, maltiness, little hint of maltiness, a uh, little bit of chewiness. Mm. Didn't drag, didn't um, linger, didn't linger either. Yeah. So it's like, it's not like it's a build up of like, uh, my mouth's getting there, uh, yeah. my mouth, my tongue's gone brown, you know what I mean? Yeah. From all this malty, uh, dark beer flavour. And I could definitely drink three or four pints of that on a session and, yeah. and you know, and come back the next night and have three and four more, you know what I mean? Because, mm. <laughs> you know, because it's a fucking decent... It's one of those ones you'd have a session and you go, you know yeah. what, I'm going back to the pub again just to get a few more in there yeah. before, before it runs out. So that's my top three. OK, what do you think of the, the four that are in the middle? The four are in the middle, they were all fucking decent. They're, yeah. they're all decent this, yeah. this week. I mean, the, the two that we got for free, I could quite easily put it in the middle, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. If it wasn't for the fact we've got our... In fact, I think if you look... I can't remember, if we listen back to my scores, I think they were kind of like quite oh, level, yeah, same, yeah. quite level with those ones as well. Mm. They were all not not one of them made me think, oh, yeah, this is bland or this yeah. is uh, twangy and annoying. Right, yeah. let's, let's think of my bottom three then. Um, oh, right. Mm, oh, there we go. Mm. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard. It's really hard. I get a feeling as well. We're not going to be overly different. No, I get a feeling you were trying not to choose the same ones as me. Just like fuck no, me, we're using the same one. No, <laughs> you can't no, choose no, something different. No, ones. I'm not. I'm not purposely doing that. I no, mean, I like, um, it's genuine. What I think, really. I mean, no. yeah, slightly different. I, I think that's my my least favourite. It was like brutally hoppy, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, the five points brewery. I mean, no. Dip. And it wasn't from the Alps. Fifty two, you let us down. <laughs> no disrespect to um, I, I love the fact that um, we got this brewery in Hackney, East London. East London. Uh, I don't know if you know this guys at uh, um, Beer Fifty Two. Hackney is the fucking the fucking ground zero when it comes to like um, brewing craft beer. That place <coughs> is fucking amazing, Hackney. <coughs> um, it's hips the central. That's why it's hips the central. Um, yeah, I, I liked it. Um, Sue Session IPA, but I think that has to probably be my, my bottom three, but I did like it. Don't get me wrong. I, I, this is the only beer I didn't really like that much. Every, everything else I liked. Um, it was the only one that I was glad to be finishing. Yeah, yeah. Um, then Cassie French IPA it was really good, but probably just slightly goes in my bottom three. Um, top, top three. Oh my god, that the, this is the tough part. Might be different. Might be the same. No, I think it when it was just might different. be coming in. Yeah. Mm. But that that hell was good as well though. Yeah. Hell but it was just like different, just hell different flavors. It's like it wasn't as like. Well, before I do my top three, let's go mm. through the middle section. Uh, I liked. Um, yeah, my bottom three ones. Yeah, the three ones you got. That was a really good lager. You didn't taste that no. lager. It was really nice. Mm. I really like the cider, and uh, that the Helles German beer was really awesome as well. Not making it up. I'm nicked into oh, your top three. Maybe, almost. Mm. Um, that was really good, but bit of a, bit of a mugging. That was a fucking mugging. That, that was. was a kick to the taste buds. Yeah. 
It fucking lingered and you felt yeah. the strength of it, didn't you? So my top but three... But I kind of, of like that. I kind of yeah. like... That's why I put it in my top like three. Like a fine whiskey. Yeah, I put it in my top three because it was an experience. Yeah. It wasn't just a fucking beer. It was an experience, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not simply... Be, I really liked the first beer we had. Right. Um, the Resistance uh, Belgium style beer. Yeah. I really liked that. That was, that was awesome. Um, and when I first tasted it, I, I thought like, oh my God, this is... I think I said this is probably going to be in my top yeah. three. I think I said it. I think like, you did mention that. Yeah, that's really good. It was a contender. The uh, Ninkasi Noir was really nice. Yeah. That was really good. I really love that beer. Um, and I'm with you. I think the last one we had yeah. was the nicest beer. Yeah. Uh, Black Aurora. I could drink four pints of that with no fucking problem. That was, that was gorgeous. I think quite happy to drink four more pints the next night if I happen to be out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, we're slightly different, but at the same yeah. time we're similar. Yeah. But that's I'm it. glad we're not exactly the fucking same. I was starting to get yeah. fucking bored of him fucking copying me all the fucking time. Fucking he just wants to be me, that's what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get somebody else to come and do beers with me. Not we're really, mate. We're like a brown beer. Yeah, brown. Brown, brown old man beer. Yeah. Like, beer like it's meant to be. Right, we're pissed. Yeah. Lovely fuck. beers, thanks beer 52, it's fucking awesome. Yeah, apart from this um, one, that you shouldn't have put in there, so don't forget to send us uh, two free boxes, <laughs> one box each for the trauma. Otherwise, trauma, we, yeah, yeah, we, could, trauma. we could probably sue them. We, put that we could probably sue them, you know that? We could probably <laughs> we could probably sue you, beer 52. It's probably cheaper just to send us a box each. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we're back. We'll get off. your lawyers on there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah. yeah. See you in court, Beer yeah. 52. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're back. We're off. Cheers for watching <laughs> if you did watch. Um, yeah. Lovely beers this month. Yeah. We should have some kind of sign off. I, go, I always do a sign off on my comic mm. curve thing. So, mm. uh, and there's another channel, another comic, and they do Pinkies Up. Pinkies mm. Up. Right. Uh, but we can't copy them because. That'd be copying. Mm. Uh, are you putting the funny song at the end? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Funny song at the end. Check Maybe it out. Maybe we should say down the hatch or yeah. bombs up or bombs up. Cheers! Cheers, Cheers to the beers. Cheers Glass of white wine for the ladies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that, I don't know. We're, we're Ignore thinking us. It. We're thinking one for next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Beer is best. Beer is best. And makes you fit and makes you strong. Puts more muscle in your dong bong pong. Beer makes bonny Britons. Beer has stood the test. What did poor old Adam say to Eve? Beer is best.